Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome, ladies and gents, to what will hopefully be the absolute finale of Fallout 2. Uh, we did a stream prior to this, and if you didn't see that, it was yesterday, and if you want to watch that before we get started here, make sure to go to the GV Stream Archive YouTube channel, where it's going to be uploaded uh, a week from September 4th, so September 11th, right? Uh, over on, you know, the YouTube channel, um, uh, the GV Stream Archive. Uh, we basically, I was trying to finish it then, and we did not finish it. We, we kept getting, uh, interruption after interruption with, like, resolution issues and crashing issues. Uh, so we didn't get as far as I wanted. Now, so if you want to watch that, you know, it's not that great, but we did get a lot of stuff done. Again, make sure to watch that before this. Although I'm going to be uploading this on my channel this Saturday, so I guess you'd have, you'd have to wait. Well, whatever, just watch this. All we did, you know, if you want to watch what we did before this, then just keep an eye out for that video. Uh, this is going to be an attempt to finish this game, ladies and gents, Fallout 2, which we did a Let's Play of a while back, and it's one of the only ones I never finished because I just, for whatever reason, you know, it was super-duper frustrating. I was way under-leveled. I thought the game was somewhere where it wasn't. Yada, 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 a whole bunch of things. This is a great game. It deserves an actual finale. And I want to attempt to do that here. So if this is going to kind of go off of the n hope that people wa were here for the last stream or will watch the last stream in the future, I'm not going to explain all that we did then. But basically, what we need to do now is um, go to San Francisco, which is where we are. We're in this, like, Chinese dynasty. I think it's Chinese. I'm not sure. There's, like, this Chinese gang or something that's here. Uh, and basically, we need to get the... A fuel tanker up and running to then go to the oil rig in the middle of the Pacific Ocean to stop the Enclave. That's the final quest. Uh, now, to get the thing up and running, what did I do? I... First of all, well, you'll all see this when we go back to the fuel tanker, but I cleared out all the basement of all the enemies. Uh, then we needed to get uh, blueprints or so, a module. Where did I get the... Oh, I had to go back to Fallout 13 and get a... Um, like a module thing for the for the tanker. I already did that. That's already done. I haven't installed it yet. Then you have to get fuel. There's a lot of different ways to get fuel, and one of the ways to get fuel is to come to this guy. And if you have enough uh, speech slash charisma, he'll just give it to you. And so I thought we were not going to be able to do it because I tried this, but then one try, he actually did just flat out give it to us. So basically, we're going to talk to this guy here. You see a stocky she man who looks like he's full of knowledge. Uh, I, man, when I think of She-Man, I think of a different thing. Haha, <laughs> isn't that funny? Uh, so we need to say to him, I'm in need of fuel. And see, he says, I'm sorry, but I cannot offer what fuel we have to you, perhaps if you were to speak to the Emperor. So if this happens, we failed the speech. And what we need to do is we need to reload until he says, okay, here you go, because it's a roll of the dice, pretty much. Uh, but if you, if you go this route, you can just, what you have to do is you, go, you have to go to Navarro, which we already cleared in the last stream. And then you have to, like, find these vertebrate plans and all this shit. We're not bothering with that. We're just going to keep reloading the save until the dude gives it to us. So, bye. So, let's reload. No. No, no, no. Reload the save. And, yeah, one of these rolls I was able to get. I don't know the percentage, but, yeah, if he says if he says he's sorry, then that, that ain't going to work, chief. So, we're going to keep reloading. Somebody asked, uh, Dave Huff asked, did you find the car yet? Yeah, yeah. All the last stream we were using the car. Um, basically how the timeline goes is Tuesday night, I spent a lot of time off camera, like getting the car back, getting weapons, getting upgrades. Then Wednesday, I streamed this game and we got to the final quest and then today we're picking, and then this morning I did a bunch of stuff off camera and then we're picking that up now, basically. Uh, come on, buddy. Okay, I don't know what the percentage is, but I did get it. I did get it. So if we just keep reloading, it'll happen eventually. Like I said, we could also just go to the Navarro base and get the uh, vertebrate plans, but that'll take a while, and I don't want to do that. Uh, although it would be easy, I think, with our speech. Come on, pal. There we go. We got it. Okay, so. You're certainly a worthy recipient of our fuel. I believe I can trust you with our secrets. In the back room, you will find the force field to the large computer has been turned off. Enter the password, blah, 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 blah. Shi Hong Ti! Uh, and you will find yourself connected to the Emperor computer. The Emperor will be able to direct our fuel to where you need it. Thanks. So there we go. Um, and yeah, I guess the big revelation is that the Emperor is actually a computer. Where have we seen that before in a Fallout game, huh? 
Um, are you going to play Borderlands 3 when it comes out? I have to talk to my girlfriend after the weekend and see if she has it in her schedule. And if she does, and if she does want to do it and is able to do it, uh, we're probably going to do a streamed playthrough of Borderlands 3. Yeah, so keep an eye out for that. It'll be streamed, though. I'm not doing it on YouTube. Um, okay, let's go over here. Is this the computer? A computer monitor. Great. Can I interact with it? Where's the... Oh, this must be the actual computer. All right, so he gave me permission. We should be able to go through, right? Do I just interact with... Huh? The dude gave me permit. Do I... What do I do? Is this the... Com I don't under... A green screen display monitor showing various bits of data. Same thing. It's got to be this thing over here. A computer terminal. So the question is, how the hell do we get in this force field? The guy gave us permission. Do we talk to one of these gents? Can't interact with these things. Is there like a door module or something? What's this? A doorway? Uh, what? Let's interact with the library. Or the, the bookshelf, I should say. The guy gave us permission, did he? And I said go into the back to the computer. And yet, there's a force field blocking us. So I don't know what's happening with that. Let's try talking to this gentleman again. Hello? I'm in need of fuel. I'm sorry, but I cannot... What? What? We just got the go-ahead. I don't understand. Let's try that again, then, I suppose. Hello? Give me, give me the fuel. You're currently a wor certainly a worthy recipient of our fuel. I believe I can trust you with our secrets. In the back room, you will find the force field to the large computer has been turned off. But it was not turned off, man. Enter the password, blah, blah, blah. Thanks. He says literally that the force field has been... It's not over here, is it? I mean, it's definitely that back room, is it not? Anybody have any... The pillar besides the green force field? No more salt because when I was a kid, I loved this game. Uh, this game has a lot of issues with it, man. I mean, I call, I call it as I see it. The Like right now, he says the force field's turned off, and yet it is not. The pillar besides the force field. What do you mean the pillar? This thing? The force field emitter? So yeah, I have no idea. Already, we see, this is this has been the challenge with this game throughout this entire Let's Play. Already, we have like a thing that just doesn't make any sense. The guy said the force field was done, and yet it remains standing. Um, <laughs> I didn't expect to be barred this early uh, in the stream. I mean, this is definitely where we're trying to get to, I would think. What the heck, dude? Maybe we have to open the door first? Maybe that could be it. Alright, let's try that. Flow the game again. We'll go open this door. The force field's up, so let's go back. Door's still open. Get next to this guy. Make a new save. Over the real main save. Come on, buddy. Give me the fuel. Says we're trustworthy again. Awesome. And the force field's still up. Oh, this game should give you a hand to drop the field. That's what I thought, too. But there ain't no hand anywhere. He said the force field would be down. All right, let me do a Google search for this. You're seeing exactly why this game is just such a nightmare to record in a Let's Play setting. Uh, Fallout... To Emperor Force Field Not Down. Let's see. How to disable force fields. Okay. Use it on the emitter of the side of the force field. There's a little hourglass looking thing right beside the force field. Use repair on that. Yeah, it is the... So it is the... Uh, this thing right here, which I remember we did interact with with other stuff. But it should just be down. He said it would be down, and it's not. <laughs> oh, this game is killing me, man. Just trying to give you a good send-off game. You fight me every single... Every single turn, dude. 
Uh, yeah, well, alright, that's cool. I don't know what to do now. We could try repairing it, but that wouldn't... Uh, I don't know what that would do. Let's see. We got, um, 22 repair. Let's try just... You fail to lower the force field. So it looks like it is interacting with it. I don't know if we have enough repair for it, though. And I don't know why we would need to repair it in the first place. Great! Is this on Steam? It sure is. Try the computer to the right. Uh, we already did. It doesn't... We can't interact with it. And he, and he also said the force field would go down, so... Uh, we'll look at the desk. Ain't nothing. Uh, yeah, all we can do is look at it. We can't actually interact with it. It's definitely this computer. I mean, what's gonna be the Emperor? This tiny little PC or this gigantic machine? I never have problems with the DLC. Should give you a hand... To drop the field. Nope, there ain't nothing, just the look thing. Oh boy, dude. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't have started this. I mean, I didn't. Jeez, this game. How do I speak to the Emperor? Not everyone's given a chance. Are you willing to prove yourself? Yeah, I am. Excellent. There's a small military base. There are numerous vertebrates there. We need plans and blueprints to manufacture some of our own. Fetch these and you'll be on your way to seeing the Emperor. You got it. Once you've obtained the vertebrate plans, give them to Dr. Wang Yi Tzu. He will put them to good use. Okay, bye. So that's the way to do it if you don't have the speech. Now, I'm getting screwed here because I have the speech, yet the game is not dropping the force field when it says that it should. So I suppose we have to just go get the vertebrate plans, and I'm really hoping once that d that's done, the force field does go down. If anyone has any tips or insight, feel free, man, because this what you just saw right off the bat in the stream is like this freaking game in a nutshell. It just there's issues with like every single thing. Have you ever played Dying Light, and are you going to play the second one when it comes out? Uh, I saw a friend play Dying Light, and that's about it. I never played it myself, although I did play Dead Island, which was made by the same people, right? I pretty much did everything in Dead Island. Do we need to, like, learn about the computer? Is that why? I don't know, man. Let's just try doing this in one straight shot. I'm not gonna save in case this messes up here. So, let's go back to Navarro. Oh, yeah, because it's, like, here, it makes you go around it. It's weird. You can't just click the place. Okay. You, you encounter a pack of death claws. No, thanks. Let's just get the heck out. No interest in fighting a whole bunch of shit on our way to Navarro. Okay. On to Navarro, which we've been to many, many... Yeah, because of this coast, you, have, you actually have to, like, click manually. Alright, so there's Navarro. So you can see we did get the, uh... We did indeed get the car, yeah. Alright, gas station. Uh, we got this guy again. Just looking around. Thanks very much, bud. And we need to find the vertebrate plans, and I looked into this a bit. Apparently, we need to find some repair guy, so I think what we need to do is go back into the Navarro base. This is the Enclave base, by the way. Just queued up your latest New Vegas video, and then I see you're on Twitch. Look like, looks like today's a good GV day. Well, I hope it is. If this game could give me anything at all to work with, man. I'm trying so hard to, like, keep my composure and just not get frustrated to shit with this game, but like already it's done something it's not supposed to do and has barred our progress. <laughs> Ugh, this game is just more trouble than it's worth, man. Um, Fallout 1, I didn't, I don't really remember, but that playthrough was good. Like, we didn't have too many issues from what I remember. By the way, we're wearing the best armor in the game, the Enclave armor, so these guys are idiots and they're gonna, they're gonna think that we're in the Enclave, yet we're not. Now, where would the Vertebird plans be? Hmm. We already did a lot of stuff here. I don't know where they would be. I think they said something about being near a repairman or something. So we're going to go to the ground floor. Maybe Raul has them. Hey, what's up, Queen 20? Try the computer to the right. Sorry. No, no worries. I, but Yeah, I already tried the computer. Um, There's so many computers here. Can we, like, get some info on one of them, maybe? No. Okay, where if I were vertebrate plans, where would I be? I don't know. I mean, there's a guy working on a vertebrate in the garage, but he doesn't say anything to us. And we already looked through all the lockers. Oh, we can look through these? Oh, that's interesting. I might have to just straight up, unless somebody wants to give me a hint, I might just have to straight up look up where this thing is. 
because um, I'm just not sure. I don't want to, like, you know, explore the entire base, but we've already been through this entire base, so yeah. All right, let's try these little workbenches here. Maybe, I don't know why they would be stored there, but... Oh! A motor, junk, and expanded lockpick set. Okay, interesting. It's already more stuff than I thought we were going to find. Uh, Dean's Electronics, very nice. Sledgehammer and some tools. We already have the sledgehammer. And then what's in the last one over here? Oh, man. Holy crap, we really should have looked at this before. We could, yeah, all this stuff will power our car. So we definitely want to take those. And we're also going to use that book that we found, too. You learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. Okay, that sounds like we got more repair. If we look at our character, where's our repair at? 29? I think it was at like 28, so that's really not much. Hello, Grub Reaper. Okay, now what happens if we talk to Raul? Yeah, he doesn't say anything. All right, I think I'm going to have to just look this up because I have no idea where to go to find this uh, these vertebrate plans. It could be anywhere. You could have to talk to anybody. Well, maybe we could, if we go into one of these buildings, maybe there's an NPC. This was the mess hall. I don't know why anybody would be there. So maybe this building? Yeah, let's just try that out before I look it up. I would, I, would, I would really prefer not to look up anything, but this game doesn't really work that way. Uh, Potato Papa 495 thanks for following, by the way. Steam is the cause. I mean, why would it be Steam, though? It's just... It, it, the only thing I could see Steam causing issues with is the crashing and everything, which, yeah, we've had a lot of, but... A tech, a tech. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. I'm new here. I need to ask you a few questions to familiarize myself with the base. <gasps> oh, there we go. Hey, look. We didn't need to look it up. Sweet. I need to look at the vertebrate plans. Where are they kept? We probably should save before that, but whatever. They would be located in maintenance next to the air traffic control. What? Maintenance next to the... Is that... Is this not maintenance right here? Or maybe this is maintenance? Is this not main? I thought Raul was the maintenance guy next to air traffic control. Okay, what the hell is this place? Get in the get in the door, buddy. Who's this? A guarded combat armor. He doesn't say anything. We got another tech. Where's the vertebrate plans? I don't see why we'd need to know that. I suggest you talk to maintenance next door. Oh, maybe we can talk to Raul about it now. All right. Looks like we're getting somewhere. What's up, everybody? By the way, welcome to the stream. We're just trying to finish this game. I don't know how long the stream's going to go, but all we're doing is trying to finish this game today. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. This is what I'm talking about, man. It's like every turn, this game just brings up dead ends. It's such a good game. It really is, but... Oh, the dead ends get, like, beyond annoying, man. Um... Well, let's try to pick po uh, pickpocket Raul then. We'll save over FOB. I think we're good with that save. We'll call it pickpocketing Raul. All right, so we're going to go into this. We're going to go to steel. See what he's got. He's got a laser pistol. Oh, do I... Where would it be? We already searched all six of these things. I don't... I don't get it. This is air traffic control, isn't it? What about this guy? Alright, well, did you check the tables? I mean... I checked these. Am I supposed to check this too? Did I check both? Okay. Motor, junk, we're looking for vertebrate plans. It looks like, yeah, it looks like these are checkable. I don't know why the vertebrate plans would be, like, on the on the wall, though. That doesn't make much sense. But maybe I clicked one by accident? Sledgehammer, tool, nope. And then the last one's over here. Crowbar, and then, yeah, if it's on this wall, I will be very surprised. Nothing. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's just let's just get through it. Alright, um So let's look up where are Vertibird plans Fallout 2. I, I, I don't want to look it up, but I don't see how the hell I'm supposed to figure you know. I don't see what our other options are. Okay, let's see. Okay, there are three ways to do this. 
Go into sneak mode and search the locker to the right behind Quin Quincy. Who is Quincy? A maintenance technici technician at the northeast hang. There's another hangar? What? Northeast. This is a hangar right here? Oh, man. I wouldn't. All right. Well, okay. All right. So I guess we're in the wrong hangar then. That makes sense. How's your day been? Uh, my day's been good. I have just eaten Chipotle because I had some extra calories. Uh, so I was able to get a little better of a meal rather than just eating it. Oh, my. Here we go. Okay. This is it. This has got to be it. Um, so yeah, just ate some Chipotle, uh, and basically just vegged out, which is why I usually do these bonus streams on Thursday, because I got nothing else going on. Thursday is usually my day off, you know, so I have some time to do this. Quincy, oh, here we freaking go, okay, I didn't realize this was, I thought, alright, whatever. Hi, name's Quincy, soldier, why are you tapping my soldier and looking lost? I need to ask you something. Alright, but make it quick, I have inventory to do. I was told by a tech that I could find the vertebrate plans here. A tech told you, you mean Raul? Did he send you? Uh, what should we say here? Yeah, that's the guy. Damn it, you know Raul would lose his head if it weren't placed so firmly up his ass. This is the third time this quarter that he's lost those plans, and now he doesn't even have the brass bouncing balls to come to me and ask for them. Fine, they're in the locker over there. Oh, and when you deliver them, tell that asshole I want to see him. Oh my god, we're actually getting something done. Now, I'm still scared, though, that um, when we go back, the, the security field's still going to be down, which is going to be awful. Um, so this locker? Oh, one of these lockers, probably. Yeah, okay. Looks like you can sneak and get this, too, but this works. There they are! Thank the Lord! What's in this one? Oh, we got 3,500 experience points. Very nice. Oh, some combat armor. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, I already have some, actually. Yeah, we're at our maximum weight. Okay. Time to head back and hope to God that that freaking force field goes down. If it doesn't, I I just don't know what to do anymore, man. Can we just leave through the front door, by the way? I'm going to try it. Although, let's make another save. Uh, I did kill all of the enemies, if you saw the last stream, all of the enemies at the bottom of the tanker. Every single... What? Something's attacking us. Who the fuck is that? Okay. Thank God I saved. Otherwise, we would have had to do that entire thing all over again. Oh, man. We're going to get slaughtered. Is that the same Raul from New Vegas? I don't think it is. I think somebody in the chat confirmed it was not, actually. And we're dead. Dude, thank the Lord that I saved. Oh, my gosh. If I didn't, I would have been a very sad boy. Okay, here we are. So let's just go back the way that we came then, which is, I think, through here and then through the elevator. Oh, man, please work. Please work. Uh, hello, I have updates on my boy troubles. I don't think I was updated previously, so I'm not sure what's going on with your boy troubles, to be quite honest. But feel free to update us in the chat. Can I go to the floor, please? Maybe a verad bird? Oh, like a vertebird? Nah, well, yeah, we got it, so... All right, then we're just going to head out and hope that that thing works. What did you get from Chipotle? I got a chicken burrito this time because their chicken looked actually quite nice. Um, chicken burrito, I always get the same shit, although switch out the barbacoa for the chicken this time. But uh, bar uh, chicken burrito with sour cream, corn, and cheese, and white rice. And then I got some chips and some pico de gallo. And it was quite good, I got to say. Hi, what's up, head bod? Head bod? Uh, no, you have not missed much, to be honest. Uh, we're just trying to get these vertebrate plans, which we got. We shouldn't have to, but the game's either glitching or something. I don't know. But anyways, let's save the game here. Now we just need to make it back to San Fran, and hopefully that's the last stop. Please. All right, let's go down the coast. We have to... Oh, we got an encounter immediately. But because we have decent outdoorsmen, we can avoid it. We do not want to fight Enclave patrols. They'll just flat out kill us. Nope. We don't want to fight any of this shit. Nothing. It's not worth it, trust me. Although we are close to a level up, I think. Okay. Uh, then, Chinatown. Now, please work. Please, get those Vonacrossums in the chat, y'all. <sighs> oh, please work. 
God, if this doesn't work, what do I even... There are actually, like, five options to get fuel, so I guess we'll just have to do another one. Hey, what's up, White Wolf? On Monday, the boy I like got to know that I like him. He called me friendly, and now I'm drinking tomorrow just to get to the courage to talk to him? Oh, you ain't gots to drink. If he's giving off vibes that he may be romantically interested in you, then he probably is. If he's not, then he's probably not. Well, if it... I, well, I'm not gonna... Can't really tell anybody to drink on my stream, but, you know... You, you're, you're an adult, I'm assuming. I don't know how old you are, but, you know, you do you. You do whatever you think's best, and I, I hope I hope the best for you. What's up, dude? <coughs> Take the plans to Dr. Wong Yi Si. Okay, where was he? Shit. I don't remember where Dr. Yang Wee, Wong Yi Si was. And he's not going to tell me. Cool, dude. Uh, Dr. All right, let's see. A sheen white clothing... A short, rotund she man. Uh, it's got to be one of these guys then, huh? Please work. Please work! I'm just trying to beat you, game. The game is very good, by the way. Um, I don't want all my salt and all my like frustrations with this game to make you think that it's bad. It's quite good. It's really, really good. Um, it's just, again, dead ends everywhere. Uh, and it's very, very hard. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Ken Lee told me to give these to you. Speak to Ken Lee and he shall discuss what ha- Hi, Yin. If you want to be on camera, just come on over. I swear they have a sixth sense, man. They will not appear on camera. Oh, we got 5,000 experience points for that, too. Oh, there she is. See? No! Oh! Where are you going? Why don't you sit right here? <laughs> Greyjoy's on the back of this bed, too. Speak to Ken Lee and he shall discuss what happens in your future. Thank you. We will be able to verify some of our test data with these. Good day. So long. We got 5,000 experience points, man. Where is our level up at? We are 1,000... 99 experience points away, which is not a lot. Also, I sw guys, guess what? Remember all those weapons we were using in the last stream? Wouldn't you know it? This 44 Magnum literally outdamaged all of it. All those giant ass weapons. It's so silly. It makes no sense. But yeah, I looked it up, and apparently for small guns, this freaking 44 Magnum is amazing, and it is. It let me kill everything in the in the basement. Makes no sense, but that's Fallout 2 for you. Okay, what's up? Thank you for the vertebrate plans, traveler. What can I do for you? Can I see the Emperor now? What? We have to go through a whole... <sighs> what? You must complete a second test. The Hubologists are our enemies. Their leader, AH HS9, has been abducting and brainwashing our children. Kill him for the good of the she, and I shall tell you how to speak to the... Dude. <sighs> He's as good as dead, I guess. I'm anxious to see the result of your attempt. Good day. So this is really lame, because if you guys are just funneling in, there's a way to just get to the Emperor... If you have enough speech, and we did, and it and it gave it to us. He said, okay, go see the Emperor, but there's a bug or a glitch, and it wouldn't let us get past a wall. So we don't even have to do all this. We're just getting screwed by this game. Ugh. Now we have to, like, go kill a guy or something. All right, let's wait until morning. I don't know where these Hubologists are, but they were referenced here in this area. So let's see. If I was a Hubologist, where would I be? There's some Brotherhood of Steel down there. I don't know what the Hubologists even look like, man. What's the story behind the name Grovana? Dave Grohl, frontman for the Foo Fighters and drummer for Nirvana, plus Nirvana equals Grovana. It's quite simple, but uh, I'm not even that big of a fan of Nirvana. I just really like Dave Grohl. I really like the, the Foo Fighters, and so I just combined them like that. Oh, uh, man, where would the Hubologists be? I don't know. None of these buildings in San Fran have any, like, markers or anything. Yeah, let me look up where they're at just to save some time, I suppose. This is just straight up wrong. It says once you get... See, that's the other... Like I said, the wiki is just straight up wrong. It says once you give the dude the vertebrate plans, he just gives you the fuel. Uh, no. He tells me to go kill the hubologists. <laughs> that's, that's the other challenge. It's like so much of the wiki is just flat out wrong with this game. Um, where are they? Though they can be found at Nuka World. There's... What? Nuka World? Oh, in Fallout 4. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, where are they? They're, they're in... We're looking for a guy named Dick Hubble, I guess. 
They originated as a cult, yada, yada, yada. Where are they? Primary compound of the hub. I don't know. Man, already there's such a giant-ass wrench thrown in these gears. Ugh, this game. I, I Honestly, I... Whatever. Enough. Okay, I don't know where to go to find these guys. Um... Where is even my character, man? There we are. That's Brotherhood of Steel. Let's just, I guess we'll check every single building. That's just a random building. That's a gym. It's probably like one of the bigger ones. Probably this giant one over here, maybe. Let's just try that one. Can just imagine Autine becoming a completely apathetic character that shares your frustrations. I, I just, I can't believe, like, how many wrenches this game throws into the gears, man. Every single time. It's just nuts. It just, it, like, never ends. Like, I looked this stuff up before I started the stream, and it's like, okay, just give the, just pass the speech check, and you get the fuel. Okay, pass the speech check. Can't get the fuel. It's like, okay, get the vertebra get the vertebrate plans, then get the fuel. Okay, got the vertebrate plans. Oh, just kidding, you have to do another thing that the wiki doesn't say. It's just like, it's unreal, man. It seems, it seems nuts. Where is Fallout 2 based on? Uh, it's in the... Basically the west coast of the United States. Oh my god, where are these guys at, dude? I can't be getting this frustrated literally at the start of the stream. Oh, maybe it's this... Okay, this one looks different. Maybe it's this one. Uh, hopefully killing this guy is easy. Are you in here? No, it's just gym... What's with all the gyms, man? There's so many gyms here. Okay, where are the Hubologists in Fallout 2? It's only giving me Fallout 4 stuff. I'm tempted just to do a different thing for the fuel. What are our other options? Trade a suit of hardened power armor to Dr. Jing Tai Gong for fuel. Okay, how do we get hardened power armor? Um, can be hardened by Crockett in San Francisco in Hubologist HQ. <laughs> Where are the hu- I'm gonna- Oh, we've been playing so many games lately, chat, that's just like causing me to lose my mind. <laughs> Where are the Hubologists? Jesus. All right, maybe over here. Maybe on this green path. Oh, it's like that, um, it's like that, uh, that freaking, uh, Die Hard quote. You know, oh, do the little, di I never seen Die Hard, but that one quote, I know that's from it. Are, are you the Hubologist? What is this now? Who are you? Who are? Uh Oh, where are the Hubologists? I'm going to lose my freaking mind, dude. They're ap apparently in San Fran, yet we're not seeing any sign of them. Maybe over here. Maybe they're in like a warehouse. Just some like random ass buildings. All right, what are our options to get this fuel at? Let's see. This is unreal. It shows me the map, but it doesn't say, like, where it is. Yeah, I see the map of the Hubologist, but the wiki's not telling me where it actually is. San Francisco. Maybe if I look at that, it'll tell me. The Hubologist occult focused on the blah, 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 and have secured a pre-war USS Quetzal. Oh, so they're in that... I think they're in that shuttle then. Oh, okay, okay, I think they're in that shuttle. That's probably the USS Quetzal. Quetzal's pretzels. I'm surprised you decided to finish Fallout 2. Bro, I'm surprised too, and I'm really regretting it already with these past two streams. I was trying to give this game... Like, off-camera, it's been pretty straightforward, but then when I've streamed it, it's like it, it gives me all the issues. Okay, so this is the... I think this is it. Hey, what are you? Blah, blah, blah. I want to join... I want to join the Hubologist, man. Go down that elevator and talk to AHS-7 at the guard post. He'll direct you accordingly. Thanks. Where is the... So we're going to have to, like, do all these quests for this guy now. Probably. I don't... What's the elevator? This? Stairs down? Did you say elevator? 
At least we're close to the end. Uh, more force fields. Awesome. All right. Uh, is that you? You, state your business. I've come to kill you all. I don't think that's going to work. I'd like to look around. This is not a place that's open for tours. Good day. Thanks, bud. Uh, I'm interested in potentially joining your group. Go, go in. Speak to Juan Cruz and Vicky Goldman. They're celebrities, you know, but they'll talk to you. Oh, by the way, this is a direct reference to Scientology, if you didn't know. Uh, ooh, celebrities. You can find them in the prayer room showing all of our new recruits and the raw meat, just how rewarding it is to be a hubologist. It's a super-duper reference to Scientology. Um, let me add them. Okay. Are you going to actually open the... See, look, the force fields went down. This is... We weren't able to... Yeah, that, w that didn't happen in the place that would have made this so easy. But, whatever. Um, all right, we're looking for a guy called, what, a Prey? <laughs> just says Prey. Where's that quest that we had? Status, San Francisco, kill the AHS-9. See, that's what we're trying to do. We need, the tanker needs fuel. We're just trying to get some gosh darn fuel, dude. We already have this. We already have the Navcom part. I got that off camera. So, where is AHS-9? We just need to kill him or convince him to leave or something. If I was an AHS... Oh, this guy. Who's that? A well-dressed man? I bet it's this guy. So how would we get there? We go through these doors, and then there he is. Okay. Yeah, we ain't talking to these other nerds. I don't give a shit. Where am I? All right. Hopefully, that's the AHS-9 guy. I don't even know if we'll be able to kill him because everyone's going to aggro, so hopefully we'll be able to just literally talk to him. Don't assume he's not a synth like Mary GV's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, notice how no one's ever seen her, right? It's almost like she's a bunch of... What? Open the door, dude. Okay. Open this door. You will have to kill them all. <laughs> I just want to beat you, game. All this for some silly fuel. And we don't even know if the freaking... Um, the, the thing's going to open, but... All right, who are you? Let's save the game. Uh, let's save the game over the stealth mission. Real main save. These are going to get so confusing. Hello? You, your embergled aura tells me that you came here, meaning me no good. Tell me, child, do you wish to profit from your venture? Yeah. This, then, is my bargain. Return to the Shi and eliminate Ken Lee and the Emperor. I will repay you with more money than you have ever dreamed. Oh, sounds like this is the guy. So the question now becomes, can we kill him and all of his people? No, I don't think so. And then he goes into combat. Oh, he's running for it. Could I, like, could I drop a... Oh, Super Stimpak. Yeah, we could do that, too. So Super Stimpaks actually give you, um... Damage... So you can actually, like, use a super stim pack on somebody and end up killing them. But I don't know if it's enough, because, like, uh, a commander guy, you have to do it, like, seven times. Um, is this guy going to attack me now? Whatever, let's just go. All right, he's yellow. I don't know if these guys are going to attack me. Let's just do... So look how much damage this freaking thing does if we go for his head. 17. That's kind of average, but if we get a crit, it'll crit for, like, 65 or something. See, 68. Look at that. 68 hit points. If y'all were here for yesterday's stream, our freaking big-ass guns were doing like 2 and 3 damage. Unreal. End our turn. Oh, looks like we're going to have to fight our way out of here. We might have enough damage. We have to see how much damage these guys do to us. This cyber dog, by the way, is really good, too. He misses a lot, but when he hits, he hits for a good amount of shit. Oh, gosh. This is going to be a lot of people. All right, how much damage? No damage. Yeah, this armor is oh freaking p. We're going to finish this guy off. The eyes. 19 hit points. The eyes. Critically for 36, yet he's still alive. This game, dude. Oh, God, they're all coming. I just need to kill this guy and get the fuck out of here, I think. I don't, I don't think I'm going to fight everybody. 
Time to die, bud. There we go. Okay, now let me loot him. Has he got anything good? He ain't got shit. Should I just leave now? It's gonna it's gonna be tricky to leave, but Oh god, look at these dudes. I think I just try to leave. Energy weapons work best. Yeah, I know. I fucked up by not getting the energy weapons. I did in Fallout 1, so I don't know why. HS was killed. Okay. We killed... Okay, that is the guy. I'm just gonna try to leave. I'm just gonna try to get out of here. Honestly, it's probably faster just to literally kill them. Who the fuck is this guy? No, but they'll be trying to chase me too, though, won't they? Hopefully our doggy will be fine. I don't know where he's going. Should we have gone that way? Who cares? We're Yeah, we're getting hit for no damage. For AHS-9, he's dead, man. For Hubble. <laughs> All right, come on. Let me, let me access this door. What? Why can I only look at it? Steel wall? No, how about the door? Oh, I guess it's open already. Okay, yeah. All right, all right. If the dog dies, say la vie, man. Say la vie. They can't hit me because of this armor, so. The screen just freezes because, like, everyone's doing their turns. Okay, am I going the right way? Yeah. We would get a lot of XP out of this, but who cares? We just need to get to the final place. The one thing I'm really hoping is that, um... Vicky was hit for six... To what? Oh, we were critically hit for 19 shit. I don't know if this is going to work. We just have to kind of look down here and see if they get hits on me. I don't know who Vicky is, but she's dying. <laughs> They're killing her for some reason. We were hit for one... If we can turn the corner, we'll be good. Come on. I need to jack up the options to, like, make this shit go by fast. Combat speed. Oh, it is on the fastest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Let's turn the corner. So how you guys doing? You having fun watching this really interesting game? Who is this man behind me, by the way? Why is he naked? I have no idea who that is. You guys enjoying this epic Fallout 2 gameplay? Isn't it fun? <laughs> Isn't it so interesting? Are you on the edge of your seat? <laughs> uh, KJ Rex, thanks for following, by the way. Raisin Brands and Potato2973. Thanks for following, y'all. We got two potato. We got Potato Pop and then we got Potato. Y'all know each other? Y'all spuds of a kind? Spuds of a kind f spud together? All right, come on. Let me just get out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Again, let me remind you, none of this needed to be done if the energy, f if the game just worked as intended and the energy field went down when I convinced the guy. So, that's cool. This isn't Sulik, because Sulik's way back in Arroyo. I left all the people over there. Oh my god. Oh my god. This shit's boring. Oh my god. How are you doing, Yen? Oh, I wish you would just appear on camera one time. One time. You have the sixth sense to avoid cameras at all costs. Okay, where are we at? I don't even know what the what the enemies are doing. They're not even we're not even getting any text messages here. Gameplay truly worth to precede my birthday? Hell yeah, dude. When I woke up today I thought, you know, head bod, I gotta give that guy a, a wonderful birthday present. I'm gonna stream some epic uh, like everybody on Twitch is doing fall uh, you know, Fortnite and Minecraft. Look at this shit, man. This is where the real shit is. If, if we just taught the kids how to play this, they would love this even more than Minecraft. Oh, why do you keep pausing and running? I'm not pausing. It's just every all these guys have to go through their turns. So they're all just trying to go through their turns, basically. That's why, yeah, that's why I'm saying this is some epic leak gameplay. I just have to wait for these 18 people to do their turns. And the combat is on the fastest, too, so... Okay, they're still not hitting me, though. He got me for three. Just have to get to that fucking staircase right there. Come on. So, let's see. What can I talk about? Well, uh... <laughs> been playing Stardew Valley. I started with the forest 
farm because I looked on Reddit uh, and within the past year a lot of people have been saying that the forest farm is actually really good for new players because it um it reduces the amount of farmland so you don't feel so overwhelmed just having so much farmland. So yeah, started the forest farm and it's going well. I'm only on my sixth day, but I'm, I'm going to be primary, primarily playing it off camera for the most part just because it's such a long game that if we stream it, I'm just not going to be able to get mu anything done. You don't have enough action points. A dude, full, so we'll reload and then we'll end our turn. Um, but I want to. But the thing is, I do want to stream it. It's just like once I get into it, I think like certain time. Juan was hit for eight. Oh, these guys are trying to like break out of here. Oh, I see. You probably have to. These celebrities probably um, want to get out, and you need to break them out if you do these quests. Okay, hit for four. Let me get the fuck out. Thank the lord. These guys are going to attack me too, though, probably. But that's fine. For defeating your enemies, you're in 600... Okay. Bye! <laughs> Sorry I ruined your Black Panther party. Oh my god, we did it, everybody. Now, if that energy gate does not open, I'm going to fucking cry hardcore. Hey, what's up, Irv Eddie? Yeah, I want to say to all the new people here, welcome. Um, I'm normally I'm much more like energetic and crazy, but right now, uh, I detest this. Well, I don't detest the game, but it's it's so it's just so frustrating to play Fallout 2. I'm just trying to finish it, but also I have to lie down to heal this dumb injury uh, correctly because like sitting down seems to exasperate it. So it's kind of hard being my usual bubbly, super energetic self in this position. If that makes sense. All right, bro. I killed your. F all right, we're gonna make a save. Where do I save? We're going to make a save over this one. No. Over pickpocketing Raul. Okay, this better fucking work. Okay. With the death of AHS-9, the great and terrible, the Hubologists pose no real threat to us in our researches. Well done, you have our gratitude. Would you like to speak to the Emperor? Yes! You have pro proven yourself to be a friend to the Shi. I believe I can trust you with our secrets. In the back room, you'll find the force field to the large computer has been turned off. Enter the password. He said that before, though. The, the Emperor's a computer? Oh, he's got this this better fucking work. Because this is exactly what he said before. The Emperor is a computer? Yeah, it stores our history, our research, our projects, possibilities for the future. It is far better than any fallible human, yet we temper its suggestions with our own knowledge of human nature. I see. Well, thanks. I have a village to rescue. This energy fucking field better be down. Thank the fucking Lord! So, if you weren't here at the start of the stream, this energy field was up even though we passed the speech check and the guy said it's down and you can go do it now. It glitched out. Oh my god, thank the fucking lord. Alright, so this should be the Emperor now. And he should be able to give us some fuel and if he doesn't, I'm blowing this whole place up. What's up? Greetings, please enter your password to confirm your identity. It was this one, right? Identity confirmed. Geolocation? What do you wish to locate? What? Diagnostics? Diagnostic functions? Network scan? What is all this? No. Database. Which database? What? Chances of submarine reappearing in this game? 0%? What? Input. Poseidon oil tanker unfit for travel require more imp- Huh? Bro, where's the fuel? Network scan. Activate biology station. Activate chem... Oh, maybe it's chemistry. Activate chemistry. Access chemistry. Yes! Fuel and derivatives! You come across a vast array of complex chem chemical formulae and lab notes. You're not quite sure what all of it means. Direct fuel to Poseidon tanker. Yes! Oh my god, thank the fucking get me out of here. We did it. Alright, we fueled the tanker. Yes! Things are working. Um, anyways, what's up, Irvetti? Welcome to the stream, man. I love starting my laptop crashes so I cannot play anymore. My laptop sucks, but luckily it plays it just fine, which I'm very happy about. Alright. Forest Farm is my favorite one. Um, yeah, I, Reddit was just saying it's the best, I guess, because it has a lot of, like, materials and shit that you can use. 
Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna play a lot. I think that's gonna be my go-to off-camera game. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah! Thank you, Khajiit Rule, for the eight months. Yay, Fallout. Yay, Fallout, indeed. Yeah, this is such a wonderful, non-frustrating, totally working game. I love it. Uh, thank you so much for the eight months, man. Seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am laying down. Yeah, I'm nursing an injury. It's not really, it's not, um, it's not like a serious injury. It's just, it's, it doesn't get healed if I sit. And since I'm a streamer, I sit for long, long, long periods of time. So, gotta do what I gotta do, you know? Just want to let you know that I really enjoy your Fallout New Vegas series. I found your channel by Oblivion 100%. I finished that yesterday. I'm going to start with your 100% Dark Souls series, I think. Take care. Uh, see you later if you're still here. A lip socks. Um, yeah, the Dark Souls one's really good. I'm very proud of that one. I'm very proud of the Skyrim one. Uh, the Fallout New Vegas one's starting off really strongly, and I'm going to give it my absolute best because it is making a lot more money which I need to pay my bills. So I'm going to be motivated by that and also how much I enjoy playing the game. So, yes. All right, we got to level up here. We're going to do, and I think, literally just small guns all the fucking way. Do we need anything else? Big guns too late in the game. Energy weapons too late in the game. Unarmed, no. Melee weapons, no. Throwing, no. First aid could help. Doctor could help. Sneak could help. Lock picking, have enough. Steel, probably have enough. Traps. Oh, I didn't think about traps. Wait, you can save these, can't you? We're going to save these until we need it. That's what we're going to do. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let's see if this fucking works. All right, so look. I killed everything down here. Everything. See these blood spots? There was like a hundred enemies down here, and I killed all of them. It took forever, and I didn't even change the difficulty. If you were here for the last stream, you saw me get swamped by all these things. I killed every single fucking one uh, this morning. Okay. If this works, I'm going to be flat out astounded. Okay, so we use the key fob that we got at the Navarro base to get in through this door. Then we use this ladder. Okay, now we're in here. Now we can access this main computer. So, you need all sorts of shit to do this. And I have all of it. Like I said, I, you had to get some computer module or something from Fallout, from, uh, from uh, Vault 13, which I had already cleared out before I even started streaming this. You have to get that, and then you have to find some fuel. So we did everything. This should work. Oh, require nav comp installation. Right. All right. That's the thing that we got from Vault 13. So, there it is. Nav comp parts. Boom. Put it in. Navigational computer online. Okay. Log off. I get. I guess we got to go talk to. We got 2,000 experience points. I guess we got to go talk to the captain then. Or can we use this? I'm assuming you have to go talk to the captain now. All right, let's do that. <clears throat> I started the New Vegas one today. It's great so far. I never had interest in Fallout before, but I love it. I would say that's a great series. To, I mean, obviously, as I said, I stand to benefit from people watching my shit, but I would say not only is New Vegas a great place to start for Fallout, but also uh, the series... Um, like, I watched... I, I never watched my videos ever, but I watched... I watched an episode last night because I thought this week's episodes were kind of uh, not as good as uh, the first week's and the week starting next Monday. But I watched my own episode that went up yesterday and I was like, damn, dude, that's actually pretty good. So, yeah, I would say even considering the middle week that I thought wasn't as good as the first and third week, uh, it's a very good start. I'm very proud, like I said. So, I would say, yeah, if you never watched Fallout, that's a good place to start. I'm gonna really, like I said, give it my all. And, uh, try to make it a good series. Try to do the best I possibly can. Basically. Skyrim 100% love your videos. Thank you very much. That's a really good series, yeah. Alright, Crystal. Enjoy lurking. Alright, you better be able to move this goddamn thing. Let's save again. Is this gonna work? How do you get this thing to go? 
How do you pilot the rig? Well, I see you already gassed her up. When you've taken care of everything else, just press the button. The computer will take care of the rest. If it's still working, it'll sail right out to the oil rig, and they won't fire at you because you got that IFF transponder. Just make sure you've got what you need to access everything. FOB, got it. Working computer and fuel. Yeah, we already did all that. Okay. Here we fucking go. Welcome to Poseidon Net. This terminal is limited to transmission between one tanker, PMV Valdez, and docking rig command. So we are on the Valdez. That's this tanker. And now we're going to go to the final area of the game, the oil rig. Go. And we get a cutscene. Oh, God. So much has gone into this. You don't even fucking know, chat. I want to cry, it's so beautiful after all this work. If only this was the end. Good luck, the gunning man. I hate the dentist. So good luck. Oh yeah, right there. That's the ticket. Poseidon oil, IFF transponder recognized. Docking complete, target reach, nav comp disengage. Welcome to the Enclave. Alright. Now becomes the hardest part, I think. Oh, we got another... Oh my god, we got 15,000 experience points. I think the highest I've ever seen in this game is 5,000. 15,000... We are here, like, so low level, by the way, I think. My character's fucking level 17, and I think you need to be, like, 25 to 30 to be here? I don't know. Uh, we have 40 skill points, so we're just gonna save those and use them as we need it. Now, we basically need to get through this whole area with out fighting anybody because if we fight anybody we're gonna fucking die okay what do we got all right let's go what what do i do whoa oh this is the entrance right here okay just be nice turrets yeah, by the way, just to talk about the story real quick for anybody lost, um, you are a tribal in this game, and your town is dying, and you need to go seek out a Gek, which is from Fallout 3, you know, the Garden of Eden creation kit, to restore your tribe back to living, okay? Um, so, so, um... So yeah, once you actually go and get the Gek, you you know, the whole game is kind of finding out how to get to the Gek, but once you actually get the Gek, you come back and it, you, you find out that the Enclave has stolen all of your people. So you need to go, like, kill the Enclave, basically, which is why we're here at the Enclave base. So we need to find our people, and we need to get them out. That's the main, um, main objective. Now what do we have here? 
Welcome to Poseidon. I, I know what we have to do for the final boss, but there's a way to, I think we can jerry-rig it. I know that you do have to kill the final boss. Yeah. Welcome to Poseidon Net. Enter menu selection. Oh, I heard something. If you use this, it kills you or some shit. Log on. Enter user ID. List users back. I think I better do this somewhere. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Alright, what do we got? Going through this blind, by the way, so I don't know where I'm going. But let's just give it a shot. In the Fallout games, is the whole world nuked or only United States? Uh, it's... Well, it was the war between United States and China, right? So isn't it just... Isn't it just... I actually don't know. Is it the whole world? I mean, I think it's... Well, it's definitely United States, and I think it's definitely China. But I, outside of that, I'm not actually sure. Uh, do we have any lore experts in the chat? Okay, let's save the game here, and we'll call it a new save. Um, here we go. We'll call it uh, Inside Enclave Base. There's some vault people here. So yeah, I'm kind of flying blind here, folks. I don't have the Goss rifle, no. People were saying it's really good, but I'm going to try to do this without fighting so much. Got a lot of power armor people. A lot of people from vaults. Huh. Where should I start? I don't know. None of these people seem to be named. What the hell is that? Security robot, Jesus Christ. Well, okay. Uh, we need to find some sort of information, like where our tribals are, I guess. Where our uh, tribal team is. Don't think they talk about any place else. Yeah, I don't even know if people know uh, if the other parts are nuked. Move on. Bravo team reporting in. Project is our salvation. Okay. Uh, so basically how this game works is you just highlight everybody and see if they have a specific name or if they have a description. Like all these people, oh, they're citizens of the Enclave. Oh, I see. See, all these people are just unnamed. Maybe we have to go downstairs. An Enclave trooper? Yeah, they're all just unnamed. I'll, okay, well, I'm going to... Oh, who's this? Okay, I'm going to assume we just go downstairs. I don't I don't know exactly where I'm going. Oh, there's a scientist man here. Got to be able to look at him. Hey, what's up, the Gray Fox? Nice to see you. Can I look at the scientist man? Where did he go? Let's talk to this guy real quick. Yeah, see, if they're not uniquely named, they're just going to say, like, oh, they're, they're not going to actually talk to you. All right, let's just go down the stairs. Um, how do we get there? Through here. Let's talk to... Oh, what? Citizen was hit for... Huh? Now they're all aggro. Why? I think I read something about this, and it's like if you take any companion, so I think we shouldn't have taken the dog. Shit. Uh, where was that last save before the fucking... I think it's this, right? I think we have to tell this dog to wait. I think if you bring a companion, they'll fuck you up. So let's tell this dog to wait. Where's the dog at? I just saw him. Where did he go? There he is. Okay, I need you to wait here till I come back. Sorry, bud. That's it for now. Yeah, I read something about that you need to not have, um... Yeah, you can't have any companions with you or they'll open fire on you. We need to, we need to sneak this shit. Uh, you even sound different. Yeah, I, like I said, for anybody, this is this is not a great first impression because normally I'm much more energetic, but I can't really like I don't just being at this angle. It's not like it's like I can't I don't know I can't use my full body to get animated and shit. But if you're digging it, you're digging it. Uh, normally I think I'm much more entertaining though. So once this fucking injury is fully healed, I think things will be much more interesting. But thank you. Even sound yeah. <laughs> Glad you're digging it. 
I think due to the mass power of China and the U.S. nukes, it covered the whole world. Oh, okay, yeah, I think that, yeah, that's right, I think. I forget. Although they could definitely wreck on it and basically say, you know, like, this part was not covered or something. My dad had a heart attack, so that happened. Is your dad okay? Downstairs? Oh, so, okay, so we did need to go down the stairs. Alright, so the question is, can we just go, or are they going to open fire on me? I don't know why they opened fire on me, by the way. Let's try to do it again, though. I really hope we can do this. I'm kind of getting... What is that? Open it. Alright, we're going to save before we go through this door. If they open fire on me, I don't... I don't... You know, it's like... What are we going to do? Um, Let's save over this one. Yeah, he made it out just in time to piss me off what happened to you oh i just have a muscle strain that's in a position where sitting down like exacerbates it and doesn't let it heal fully i think okay see they didn't attack me yeah see yeah okay see you have to go in without any companions i did read that okay now what about this that's just not gonna open is it you see no way which to open the door shit so we do need to go down those stairs what's that a fan can I literally lockpick this? You see sturdy blast doors. They seem to meld into the floor and seal. So we have to find a way to get through this big giant ass set of doors. I'm going to try to lock. If this, if I try to lockpick and it actually opens it up, I will laugh my freaking ass off. All right, let's see. Lockpick. There's no way that works. There's no apparent locking mechanism on the door. Okay, so we have to find some way to get through there. Uh, Returning to duty. I mean, there's got to be, like, some NPC we can talk to or some desk, like, some key we can find. Or probably computer. You know what? Now that I think about it, what's that? Psycho? We'll take it just in case it makes a difference. Probably computer, huh? So can we see any weird... We can only look at that one. We can only look at that one. Can't do anything there. There's lockers in here. Uh, I don't know what to do short of just talking to everybody and seeing if somebody says anything. But it looks like nobody's uniquely named. How would I get through this door? Let's just try talking to everybody, I guess. We talk to that guy, we talk to that guy, we talk to this guy. Okay. None of these guys are going to say anything. What about these two? Get back to work. Returning to duty station. Okay, what about this chick? Nothing. Let's go into this room with the big boys. How y'all doing? Alright, who's smacking gum into the headset? Shines the name, shines the name, shines the name of... What? Roger Young, don't know what that means. Sound of 1, 2, 3, 4, bringing it on down. No clue what they're talking about. Um, I'm assuming this door works the same way. Like, we can't get through it because it's the same type of door. Nope, that opened up. Huh. Okay. So now we can loot. I, I did not think we'd be able to get in there. Let's loot these lockers then. Oh, oh, oh. Can we blow it up? Okay, we need to drop off some shit. We're at maximum capacity here. Uh, What is that? Water chip? Oh, yeah, we found that. Oh, yeah, the water chip. Uh, What else? What can we drop off? Oh, yeah, we have plastic explosives. Honestly, there's not too many things that I want to drop, but, um, okay. Oh, maybe we just blow it up. Um, yeah, let's, we could try that. And there's all these rockets, but we ain't got no rocket launcher, so that ain't happening. Five millimeter. Uh, we don't have a weapon that uses that, and we don't have the carry weight for it. What about these robots, too? Ah, what's up, Sleepy Mouse? What do we have here? Grenade frag? Hell yeah, dude. Okay, what about this one? More plastic explosives and power armor. Okay, what about these fellas? Oh, we can talk to it, huh? Save the game. Um, Running out of, like, saves and shit. Let's just do it over this one. Call it, uh... uh in the thick of it. Okay, what's up, uh, What's up? It does not respond to you. 
It does not respond. All right, let's try blowing up the thing. Hey, got out of hospital, immediately yelled at me to do everything at once and that ordering something and not telling me the way that it is shipping, yet he said it always does. You are just not looking hard enough just for me to show and prove him that he's wrong. Oh, well, okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know you and your family's dynamic, but obviously dude just had a heart attack, so I'm sure he's going through a rough time. Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know your dad, man, but a heart attack would be rough on anybody, I am sure. So I, I don't know. I hope things go smoothly for you, dude. Can we shut this door? All right. I don't think this is going to work. I think they're going to get mad at me, but fuck it. Who cares? Let's just try it. So what you do is you walk over to the door. You go into your inventory. You find the plastic explosives. You arm it for like 10 seconds. Then you go back to the top armed one, which appears at the top of your inventory. Notice how the light's blinking, if you guys can see that. And then you drop it on the ground, and then you fucking run your ass out of there. Uh. It does not appear as though conventional explosives will open these. Man, they thought about that. Look at that shit. They thought about that. It does not appear as though conventional explosives will open these doors. Well, how the fuck do I get through then? There's boxes in this room. Maybe it's something in the... <sighs> How the hell would I get through? I'm assuming it's like a key card or something. Oh, look at all these lot. Well, no, those are just like barracks. Maybe it's in this room. I just got to search a random ass crate. This one looks weird. This one's like by itself. All right, let's try that. I don't know, man. Let's reload that save to get our plastic explosive back. How did you go about setting up that currency thing below the chat? Uh, I think you had to be a you had to be a partner basically. They just let me in on that. It's like a partner feature that uh, they're like beta testing. Marvel or DC? Uh, neither. Not too big on comic book shit, but Marvel. Marvel's Marvel's more interesting. All DC has going for it is like dark characters, which is good. I like dark stuff, but like their characters are far more disinterest un uninteresting to me. fucking knife man what do i do anyone got a hint or something fought two has goss pistol fought two. Oh man i missed this playthrough yeah well for better or for worse we're trying to get through it anybody got a hint i just i don't know what to do we need to get through these, these giant ass doors to get down here but like they won't explode do we search that desk I'm assuming we just need to find a key card or something. I don't know. I might have to look this one up because I have no idea. Hey, what's up, Flower Plus Strong? Tom Holland will continue to be Spider-Man? Wait, really? What changed? Nothing in the desk. I'm going to assume we need to talk to one of these guys. Why else would there be a... Man. I'm doing good just trying to beat this game. But I'm actually doing really well. After uh, streaming on this bed last night, my um, my uh, my muscle pull is not as uh, pronounced as it was before, which makes me think it is actually the the chair that's been doing it, the streaming and sitting down for long periods of time. Which means that if this thing goes away completely, I will be very, 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 very happy. Need to talk to someone. No one's name though. They all just give me random shit. All right, we'll just talk to literally everybody, I guess. Usually they're named, and then they give you, like, dialogue, but... All right. For a key card. How happy? Very happy. Hey, what's up, Scarlet? So, better muscle, but sore neck. Uh, the neck... Yeah, the neck in the back is just from, like, doing one stream like this. Uh, as soon as I stopped streaming, it was fine. So, I'm not worried about that. I'm just uh, trying to sit in comfortable positions. But no, it feels very good, so... I can return to my normal self if it's gone by, like, you know, a couple streams or something. Can somebody talk to me in here? Alright, I'm just gonna look this shit up. This shit's taking way too long. As usual with this game. I just, I'm not gonna look it up, I'm just, I just wanna get, like, a, you know, the next step. Like, what are we looking to do? Okay, the Chosen One must be wearing power armor. Any type will do. It must not have any companions or the Enclave will, will attack on sight. Good. 
Enclave turrets are equipped with heavy dual mini guns. Yeah, so you can't fight through it. With high enough science, examining the computer in the entr- Oh, the entrance com- That's right, I forgot about that. We'll reveal all the info right away. But you need 125, 150, and 100, which we don't fucking have. We don't have that high science for any of that. This is it. If the player chooses to download the help content, the terminal won't be accessible later on, making the final boss nearly impossible. Thanks, man. Glad I read that. Okay, down the stairs at the detention research level. That's where we're at now, I think. There are many people held in cells. Yeah, motherfucker, how do I get down there? This goddamn wiki, dude. It just tells you things, but it doesn't tell you, like... Ugh. Unless we're there. We're not in there, are we? It literally doesn't say anything what to do. God. The fucking wiki sucks, man. Someone needs to play through this game and update that wiki. That wiki is so sticky. Now, this is not the detention cells, is it? Can I, like, look at a map of this place? The Enclave Guard... Yeah, we're in the guard barracks. So, is there any other way to get out of here? I think we need to use that computer, basically. In the entrance hall. Yeah, we need to get right in there. But the fucking wiki is just like, Once you're in the next place, doesn't tell me how to get into the f next place! Ah! So frustrating, man. You have more points you could add to sign... Oh, that is true. That is true. Do you like Dragon Ball Z? I sure do. He said in an interview he's going to continue to play Spider-Man with Sony. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad he's not out of a job because he, yeah, he did a good job, so. Oh, you know what? We didn't try this. Oh, my God. There was another place. I'm an idiot. That's my fault. That's my fault. We didn't try going down here. Wait, yeah. What's our science at? Oh, it's at 100. Oh, shit. Can we just... Can we just jack this shit up to... I don't think we have enough to jack it up to... No, we need to get it to, like, 125. We don't even have enough for that. So we'll have to get, like, one more level, basically. Damn. Alright, let's try this. Please work. Loving the Let's Play, just letting you know it's awesome. So excited I went back and watched the old one. Fallout 2? Wait, you mean Fallout 2 or Fallout New Vegas? Okay, where are we now? Here we are. This is where I probably need to be the hell's going on in here oh yeah here's all our people okay this is this is what we're looking for this is the main quest we need to find all of our people look there they all are fallout new vegas yeah i'm very proud of it glad you're digging it metal k on did 100 percent lp of this i i had to grow up with this game to do 100 percent or to like really enjoy it this game is just going back to it it's even harder to play than morrowind in my opinion Okay, so let's see what we do now. Let's just go talk to our friends, I guess. It's like people in here with the computers. We'll probably need to activate those computers. Looks like they're experimenting on people or doing some bad shit. The Enclave doing bad shit? What? Okay, these guys are just going to let me pass. Bye, gentlemen. Okay. Can we talk to these people? Chosen one. How did you get here? Now we're cooking with fucking gas, dude. Okay. I've come to rescue you. Okay, that's the elder of our village. I haven't seen this person in, like, literally, I don't know, over a year. Careful. Do not touch the glow wall. I think the machine that feeds it is beneath us. Destroy it so we may escape. How did you get here? I have a ship. If you destroy the machine, we will find the ship. Hurry. There are not many of us left. What happened? Men came to our village in flying machines and took us. There were others too, from the Holy Thirteen. I thought we were saved. I thought we were going to heaven. <sighs> yeah, no. And then? Then they brought us here. To hell. They have killed most of us with something they call FEV. Oh, FEV. They will kill us all before they are through. Do you know what must be done, chosen one? Oh, so they're un they're um they're experimenting on the the people with the FE. If you don't know, FEV virus is in all the fallouts. It's forced evolutionary virus. It basically turns people into super mutants. So they're experimenting on our poor village here with the FEV virus. FEV virus. I do know what must be done. You must destroy the machine and kill the devils in this place. 
We will meet you outside. And chosen one, if you have not found the Gek, seek it here. Our freedom is nothing if we cannot save our village. Now go. Now that's really fucking lame, by the way. They, um, you need to get the Gek to beat the main quest, and you can just come here and get one, or you can do the harder thing, which I did to get one. There's two Geks, from what I remember. Okay. So what do we need? So we need to destroy the thing with the... We need to go down... I mean, there's a level going down right there. We need to destroy the machine. And then we need to... Kill the FEV virus thing? Which is where? In here? I don't fucking know. Oh, this maybe? Maybe that's it right there. Alright, we're gonna have to make copious goddamn saves. Because I don't even know what we're... We could fuck something up like every turn, dude. So... We just have to be so careful with our saves. Let's start by going down and see if we can just blow up a thing. Is this the Nightkin mutation thing you talked about in today's Fallout? Uh, Nightkin are a subset of super mutants. The normal super mutants are in, like, Fallout 3, and they're just big green monsters. Nightkin are super mutants that abused uh, stealth boys, and they turned purple, and they went crazy, basically. You What? The electrify Their electrified floor discharges? The fuck is this? What? The floor is electric. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Oh. What the fuck? So it's a trap room. All right, thank God we saved. It's just, again, imagine if you imagine if you never saved. Imagine doing all that and then just dying there. Isn't that awesome? Puzzle room, yeah, it would seem that way. Another bring up the Gek. Well, I already knew that. Like, so what I'm saying basically is, you can either go the long way to get the Gek, or you can just come here at the end of the game and get one here anyway. I don't know how hard it is, but it's F E V. It's literally like the letters F E V. That she's just an idiot. She doesn't understand that it's. It's F E. It's just an acronym. F E V. Forced evolutionary virus. Um. Yeah. That's. I think so. I think it's just. Yeah. People that were experimented with the F E V, but then they got addicted to st uh, stealth boys or whatever. Okay. How the fuck do we do this? Do we just run through quickly then? Oh, maybe it's the other one then. Okay. We'll go to this one. We'll go to this one. I said. Activate the thing. Okay. So we're like timed. I think. Okay, now this door, what, where does this go? What? Hello? Oh, shit. What are we looking for? We're looking for a big machine or something. Will these guys care if I loot this shit? Look at all this ammo. Yeah, you can find tons of stuff in here. Floor is lava. Floor is electric. Okay, let's loot this. I need uh, stim packs, mainly. Anything to help me tank this final... <gasps> Speak of the gosh darn diddly devil. Okay. What do we got in these lockers? Flamer? Our heavy weapons are shit, so that's not really going to help us, I don't think. And a plasma rifle. Our energy weapons are shit, so that's not the same thing. Uh, let's look in these lockers. Yeah, we need all the stim packs we can use to, like, tank. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to tank any anything anyways. Oh my god. What the fuck? Look at all this shit. Okay, give me that. I don't know if the water does anything. Oh, we can't even take it. Uh, we need to drop some shit off. Uh, let's see. Advanced lockpick, we'll keep that. We'll keep doctor's bag, I suppose. Water chip, I'm gonna store. These grenades, I'm gonna... S Actually, no, I need those. What's that, though? Grenade plasma. I'm gonna store these. Um... Store these tarot cards. Store the tool, which I've literally never had to use. Don't even know what this freaking me memory module... Oh, I'll keep it. Whatever. I'm going to store all this. Uh, store the deputy star. Store the bag that I have. Any Actually, I'm going to keep the bag. Store the antidote. I don't think we're going to get poisoned. Store the... We'll keep the rope. Uh, we'll store two of these. Keep the... Oh, yeah. I have healing powder, too. Sweet. Uh, keep those. Keep those. Get this... Uh. Uh, oh, the rubber boots. Will that help with electricity? I wonder. Okay, what do we got in here? 
Scout handbook. Take all those. First aid book. Take all those. What's that? Geiger counter? I don't even know what that does. And we got all these stim packs. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Then go into our thing and use these books. Learned about survival. Learned about survival. Learned about survival. Learned about new ways to heal an injury. God, I wish I knew in real life. Same thing. Okay. All right. Uh, that was good. And then let's loot this locker over here. What the hell is this? There's the, the Gex right there! Are you fucking ki- Dude, yeah, so literally don't even ever, like, do the Gek quest, because it's literally in a random-ass locker. You know what I had to do to get that? Paramedics bag and a field medic first aid. I don't know what any of this shit does. We'll just take it. You don't need the water. It does nothing for you. That's what I figured. I think it's just a reference to the previous game, right? Okay, let's save. In the thick of it, we'll just keep going down this line. All right, um, so we go over here. We activate this again. Okay, I guess... Oh, we can go through here. Okay, we're getting hit... Shit, all right. We need this door to open. Are you si Okay. I guess we have to go on this side. That was just to get some bonus shit. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, dude. Activate the thing. Is this open? Okay, activate this one. We're gonna have to heal. Activate it! Okay, then through here, I guess? Uh, we need a heal. Uh, what does this even do? Uh, specifically designed for high trauma and emergency waste six, six... Okay, can I just use that? What did that do? Fucking nothing. Awesome. Um, okay, then activate this. Dude, you're fucking with me, right? Wh how do you... This puzzle sucks, man. Alright, we're gonna reload. How do you... How do you do this? You come in here. We need this door to open right there. Can I lockpick it, maybe? Yeah, you, it's like the Pokemon thing. You just gotta find which door opens what. This, this one does nothing. So do that again. It does nothing again. Great. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I think we just need to get over here, basically. He keeps getting stunned with the damage, too, so he's not, like, opening it. Oh, man, this sucks. That opened up that down there. I don't know what fucking way to go. This is not my idea of a fun puzzle, dude. What's in here? More shit. Alright, let's see if they got stim packs. Oh! Hell yeah. Advanced Power Arbor Mark II. Is that better than what we have? What do we have? Oh, fuck. Wow. That is straight up better. If I put this in there, they're just going to flat out kill me. Yup. <laughs> okay. That is actually better armor, though. Uh, guys, I don't know how this fucking puzzle works. It's just, it's, it's like random. You know, it's trial and error, which is so very fun. This one does nothing at all. Oh, I hate shit like this, dude. I might just look up the I might just look up the solution to this. I really don't like puzzles like these. It's just die, 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 die until you magically get the right one. Oh, there's a door there, which I didn't see. Maybe that's it. Okay, give me them. Is there any way that I could switch out the power? Oh, wait, what if I... 
I would love to take this, but we don't have... There's no way we're going to have enough to pack. Well, we could store stuff, I guess. Okay, what if we just store all that? Now, can I take it? Oh, wow. Okay. Then go in and then switch that armor out for this. Where's our, where's our, arm, uh, our armor? Armor class 45. And now it's 50. Fuck yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a pro tip. Make sure to get that armor right there. No, they're still going to attack me? Okay, cool. All right, go back into this. Put this back. Take our plastic explosives back. Okay, open up the next locker. Just a lot of this ammo for this big-ass, like, gun, which I do not have, man. What's that? Ammo crate? Ooh. Fusion cells. Don't need them. Microfusion cells. All right, what's in here? Oh, shit. It's the Gauss rifle. Two millimeter EC? What? Uh, have I even seen that? So that apparently is the best uh, gun in the game, but I don't even know if I've literally ever even seen the type of ammo it uses. Is that it? Oh, that's it. Oh, shit, dude. Well, looks like we're going to get a Gauss rifle after all. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, let's put the shotgun... The shotgun's garbage in this game, by the way. Shotguns are just trash. Absolute trash. So we're gonna... We're gonna take one of these. So we're gonna put that back and then take one of these. Sweet. Yeah, everybody says this weapon's the best, so we'll see if it actually is. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's save the game again. Now let's try activating this thing right here. What does this do? Please remove one of these things. Welcome to PosidoNet, blah, blah, blah. Log on. Uh, list users. Listing the terminal displays about 500 names. Smith J. This one looks kind of special. Presidential passkey security override. Security override requires presidential only passkey options. Allowed counterinsurgency, emergency defensive system shutdown. Um, counterinsurgency? In the event of an armed rebellion, presidential security key card allows defensive systems to be turned on. All right, I know what this is about. We do need to get that key card. Okay. That sounds useful. Activate counter insert. No, we can't. We're, we're going to need the key card. Yeah. Uh, okay, log off. Wait, we should learn about the other thing, though, shouldn't we? We do need that key card in order to win in, in a correct way. What headset is that? Because the mic sounds clean as hell. This is the Bayer... If you look up Bayer Dynamic Grovano, you'll see a review of it. It's like a Bayer Dynamic... Uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a, it's a whole thing. Okay, we got a security status for some reason. And then we got this again. Um, emergency defensive system shutdown. Temporarily shuts down active security systems on a level-by-level -level basis. Shutdown starts deep diagnostic procedure before initiating auto-reboot of a security system. Okay, I, I think if we try to try it, it's going to say that we can't. So we need the presidential key card, basically. Uh, which is the main thing that we're going to... Yeah, that's like the main quest item here that we need to find. Now the question is, how the fuck do I get through this part, dude? That door's open right there, isn't it? I can't even tell. I can't even tell if these doors are fucking open or closed. So if we run back this way and then go like to this side, maybe that opens. Yeah, I probably just look up the answer to this. I hate shit like this. This is not a fun puzzle. This is this is not my idea of a fun puzzle. That does nothing now. Cool. <sighs> We're just taking damage until we die, basically. This is so mindless. Fuck this. I ain't looking this. No, I, I ain't doing this shit. Enclave. 
trap room. How the fuck do you get through this? In the game data, rooms and doors are designated as follows. Initially, all doors are closed except the outer ones. Blah, blah, blah. The computers open and close the following doors. Quick solution. The fastest sequence to get through is 2317. Visit left side of room 89. Visit right side of room. Oh, man. I hope this resets. Ugh. Rubber boots do not help there. That is surprising. Okay, so it says quick solution is 2317, visit left side, 89, visit right side. 2317. Alright, I'm just going to keep this open as we try this. I think I already fucked it up because... I think I already fucked it up because, you know, I opened up all these fucking doors. So, that's awesome. How do I even get back, man? Uh, do I have a... I uh, should not have fucked with this. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of here now. this game um I don't know what to fucking do I already fucked up this whole puzzle now so it's out of order yep I legit don't know what to do guys you have perished makes no sense the um the electric boots don't even help you which is unbelievable So it's like two, three, one, seven, visit the left room, and then you do like something, something, visit the right room, and then it opens up, but like it's all fucked up now. So we can get down to this room. Two, three, one. So this door must open this then, right? Nope, it does fucking nothing. Great. Can I lockpick these doors? Cool. You have died. Oh! This game just never wants to end. I don't know what to do. Two. Three. Here we go. Bro, open the fuck. He, he keeps getting stunned out of the animation. Okay, now I gotta heal. I don't think this shit actually heals me, so I don't know what the purposes of those. Okay, let's use a couple of these. One, two. Okay. Two, three. Okay, two, three, then one. Okay, okay, then seven. Oh my fucking god. Okay, now what? Two, three, one, seven. Visit left side. Already done. Then eight and nine. So this is one, two, three. So okay, eight and then nine. Visit right side. Eight and nine. So yeah, we're here. All right, let's save the game again. We should be fine. Okay, eight. Hit the thing. Wait, can we just leap? No, hit the thing. Okay. Then nine. Walk slower, buddy. Okay, that did it, I think. This door's still fucking... Can we open this? 
it just opens. Oh my god, thank the lord we were actually able to do it. Oh, oh. What's up, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Quartz, thanks for following. Uh, if I'm not talking to the chat too much, just because I want to make sure we actually finish this today, so bear with me. Uh, let's save the game. No, no, no. Not load, for the love of all that is holy. All right, we got through this horrible room. Fuck that room. Uh, let's go ahead and save until healed. Can we do that? Sweet. So that's an easy way to heal. You'll notice my hit points healing at the top. God, this game takes everything out of me. Quartz, thanks for following, man. Welcome to the stream. Hi, nice to see ya. The president is on his boat. Okay. They're making more wind on the Skyrim engine called Skywind. Yeah, they're making everything on everything. You know, I'll, 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 I'll see it when it comes out. Until they come out, like, we're, we'll probably have a long, long time of waiting. You know what I mean? You having fun, Yen? <laughs> Yen looks so funny. I wish you guys could see her. You having a good day? <laughs> she looks so funny. Okay, that's some free healing. All right. Now what do we got? Let's save the game. I hope I'm going the right way, by the way. I don't even fucking know. Down we go. Now where are we now? You live through the puzzle room. 2,500 experience points. Excellent. Oh my god, look at all this shit. Oh, that's where the other stair goes down, doesn't it? Oh, interesting. Okay. What is that? War room table? Interesting. Situation map. Oh, that's the president. What do you mean the president's on his boat? That's the president right there. What you talking about, Willis? Okay. Um, that's that so we need that's who we need to see. We need to get that guy's key card. Once we have that guy's key card, we have everything. So I hope my speech will get us through that. I will be so beyond the moon if that just goes smoothly. How are we getting to this president? And who is that? Um, door right there. Door over there. Door over there. Okay. And what's this big ass machine? Bomb? Just a bomb? Okay. This boat? This is a... This is an oil rig. What do you mean, this boat? How is this a boat to you? Ah, oh, kitties, where are they? There's one over there, and there's one over there. And they're looking quite cute. How is this a boat? Can we literally just walk in here? Oh, no. Okay. Save the game. Talk to this girl. Somewhat plump, blonde secretary in a tight dress. I do, too, know how to type. Noted. <laughs> Are they just going to let me get to this guy? Wow. All right. Oh, who's this guy? Small, nervous-looking man? Who the fuck? Is this like a fake president? And is this the real president? Vice president. Oh, now it says Vice President Bird. I don't know who should we talk to. Who should we talk to first? All right, let's save the game. Hi. Hello, Trooper. What do you do in the Vice President's office? I'm just here to double check on our secret plans. Well, as you may know, I've long thought that it's time for the human race to enter the solar system. How would we do that? For NASA, space is still a high priority. I see, and where would we be going then? I think that maybe Mars would ni be nice because Mars is essentially in the same orbit. Mars is somewhat the same distance from the sun, which is very important. We have seen pictures where there are canals, we believe, and water. If there's water, that means there is oxygen. If oxygen, that means we can breathe. Uh, I didn't expect such a complete answer. Of course you do. Of course, any local citizen of these great United States would do the same. Why is that? We have to work together because if we don't succeed. We run the risk of failure. Well, I better be going now. Carry on, Trooper. The future will be better tomorrow. Uh, and then we could just, like, kill him. Uh, okay, bye. All right, he doesn't offer much. Can we close this door, by the way? Okay, Mr. President. Well, hello there. Glad to make time for one of our gallant troopers, but I am rather busy, so, um... What can the President of the United States of America do for you? You can tell me just what's going on here. You really don't know, do you? 
Let me tell you about mankind's salvation. A little history first. <laughs> Go on, Mr. President. There was a great war, long before we were born. Our gallant soldiers fought from the Yukon to the Yangtze. Yeah, I knew about that part. Go on. We were winning, too. And then those damn Reds launched. We barely got our birds up. Doesn't seem as though it helped us much. Well, no, it didn't. But at least it knocked the damn Red Menace back into the Stone Age. And us with it. Well, no. No, not quite. You see, we had planned ahead. We were ready. What do you mean? We had a number of sanctuaries that would enable the glorious American civilization to endure. This facility, the vaults, were part of the great plan. Those damn vaults didn't work the way they were supposed to. A lot of people in them died. Actually, they worked almost exactly the way they were supposed to. You might call it a social experiment on a grand scale. An experiment? The vaults were set up to test humanity. Some had not enough food synthesizers. Others had only men in them. Yet others were designed to open after only six months. They each had a unique set of circumstances designed to test the occupants. What about Vault 13? What was its purpose? Ah, Vault 13 was a special case. It was supposed to remain closed until the subjects were needed. Vault 13 was, in scientific parlance, a control group. And I believe that's the vault from um, Fallout One, which you can't, which you have to go to in this game, uh, as well. But they would all have died if my ancestor didn't get them a replacement water chip, which we stole. That doesn't seem to fit in with your plan. An unfortunate and unforeseen accident. However, as it turns out, a rather fortuitous one. What do you mean? As it turns out, we needed test subjects from untainted pre-war human stock. Your ancestors in Vault 13. And some freshly mutated stock. The villagers from Arroyo. Why? For the project. It's almost ready. Humanity's salvation is almost at hand, and the United States of America will be the progenitor of that rebirth. Rebirth? What do you mean? The only way for true humans and democracy to be safe is to cleanse the mutants from the globe. We humans will take back that which is rightfully ours. Cleanse the mutants? That sounds a bit drastic. How are you going to do that? We found a research facility in operational shape about 70 years ago. A former military base that had been used to research a special virus. All these are references to Fallout 1, by the way, pretty much. A virus. Yes, the FEV virus. It was originally developed to turn soldiers into super warriors, but it failed. The warriors were tough and strong, but far too stupid. However, our brilliant chemical core altered it. Alter the virus? Why? To turn it into a staggeringly effective killer. Any humanoid that isn't inoculated against its effects before its release will die. That is the project. That's insane! Oh no, that's humanity's last best hope. That's what we've been working towards all these years. Great, so you have all this poison and no way to spread it around. Oh, but that's one of the advantages of the FEV virus. We can release it right here, and the jet stream will carry it worldwide. It'll have plenty of time to cleanse every nook and cranny of the globe. Okay, then why did you have to kidnap my villagers and the people from Vault 13? Test subjects? Your villagers are all descended from Vault Stock. I guess he just knows sure who we are now. Toxin was still effective. Me the buddy. subjects from Vault 13 test that and an inoculation against the FEV. <laughs> You're not testing the inoculation on my people? It's hardly necessary. I'm sure we could, and it would work, but there's no reason to do so. Did it ever occur to you that what you're doing is wrong? Never. Part of the president's job is to make the tough decisions. A lot of near humans will sacrifice their lives for the return of humanity. Humans will prevail. Are you feeling sweet, little boy? Just because everyone out there doesn't have an exact copy of your DNA, that doesn't give you a license to exterminate them. Oh, I don't relish this decision. If there was another way... But there isn't. No price is too high for the survival of the human race. If hey, what's up, dopamine? If you human, you'd feel the same way. If I were human? Oh, he means because I'm mutated? That's not cool. I'm not that mutated. You really believe that, don't you? Yes, I do. Even killing me won't help you. There's nothing you can do to stop the release. 
Um, okay, maybe I'll just figure out a way to give you a taste of your own medicine. We'll just see about that. I've got other things to do. I disagree, Mr. President. I think you will help. I f I'll feel a lot better. I think there is a speech thing here. If we can get a speech check. What just happened? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. So we have to convince this guy to... I wonder if we can convince him, like, with well, a speech hello check. There. Glad to make time for one of our gallant troopers, but I, I am rather busy, so, um... You really don't know, do you? Let me tell there were, We were winning, too. Well, well we had the vo Uh, and then as a turn for the pro The only way for true... We found it. Yeah, to turn it... No, no. Oh, tests us hardly. Never. Oh, uh, yes. I do. Can we... It, I wonder Even if we can pass this. You, there's nothing you can do to stop the release. Is it not a boat? This is an oil rig, man. You can overdose the president on stim pack, super stim pack him. Yeah, that's what I heard, but don't you need like seven of them? I don't have seven. Okay, looks like it's going to be hard to convince him. And then he just calls in everybody to kill me. Yeah, so you can, yeah, you can super stim pack him. That is a way to do this. You know what, let me take a look at my options so we can see what our choices are here. Uh... Okay, here we go. Either of them finally reveals to the Chosen One that the Enclave's diabolical plan to wipe out all humans on the Earth except the Enclave citizens with an FEV-based biological weapon. A plan that is literally days, if not hours, from conclusive stage. The President also offers amazing amounts of historic and blah, 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 blah. The Chosen One will have to kill him because that's the only way to get his access key. Okay, you have to kill him. Um, so, you can use seven stim packs, super stim packs on it. We don't have seven. But there are seven around here. You can put an explosive on him, then leaving. He will either die or be weakened. Enclave will not be alerted. Just killing him alerts the Enclave. Sneak and shoot him if he gets a critical hit, he'll die. Enclave will be alerted sometimes. It won't sometimes. Fail to steal plant on him he'll attack however the rest of the enclave will not be alerted okay i mean so we got some options there then I mean, can we just plant explosives on him well hello there no 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 one of our gallant troopers okay uh how do i so i steal and then i just uh, I'll put a grenade on him. Okay. And then walk away. Hey, thank you. Does he not blow up? I don't under... Okay. Do the grenades... I don't... Do I have to activate the grenade? This shit's so confusing. We'll just do this. We'll, uh, put the thing for 30 seconds... Then we'll steal. Then we'll put this on him. Does it work like that? Get the fuck out of here. Now we gotta wait 30 seconds, I guess. If this works, I'm gonna laugh. No, get in the other room, dude. Thank you, Chicken Finger Bang, for the 33 bits! I love Fallout 2, but I'm not a big fan of the top-down gameplay. I like this game a lot, but it's just... It's okay. No, everything's active. That didn't work. Come on. Yeah, I don't have enough super stim packs to kill this guy, man. Let me reload. Let me reload. I'll just put two explosive. I don't know how much fucking... He was hit for 48. I, I'm not going to fuck around. I'm just going to literally put three bombs on him. <laughs> fuck this. Well, hello there. Glad to make time... Uh, let's close this. Can you not close this door? So if you, like, fail to steal from him or something, he he will attack you and then you're all good. But I, our, our steal is too high. Right? Oh, man. What do I do? Let's put that for one minute. Let's put that for one minute. 
do that for one minute. I don't know if it's counting down what's in your inventory. Then we're going to steal. Then we're going to put these three explosives on his person. What just happened? Fucking everything aggros! Close both big doors. Oh, both big doors, yeah. I want to see if those three explosions kills him off outright. Let's see. Hey, welcome back, watery bread. Just one and wait. Oh, one stim pack and wait. Okay. It says seven on the wiki, though, but all right. Need to wait out this minute to see if he just dies from the three explosions. What is even going on? Oh, there they go. All right, fuck this. All right, let's just try the super stim pack way then. So what we do is we go over to this guy. Oh, hello there. Glad to make time for one of our. Then we steal. Then we put on his person a whole bunch of super stim packs. Where are my super stim packs? There they are. I'll put all of them on it. Fuck it, I don't care. Again, can you stop looking like you've seen a ghost? You freak me out every time. Alright, super stim packs are on. Oh, wait, no, I use them on them, don't I? I use them on them. God damn. Alright, I really do need to close those doors. <laughs> Thank you, watery bread. Alright, let's see. Reload. Close this door. Close this door. I mean, this girl's in here, though, so wouldn't she just... No, mommy, I didn't do it. Don't hit me again. What? Come over here now. Can we close this door? Oh. There we go. Okay, save the game. All right, now go over to the guy. Oh, hello there. Glad to make time. And then we use the stim pack on him. Yeah? Yeah, use him. Okay. So, do that. Do that. Go down the super stim pack. Do that. You use the super stim pack on President Richardson. Now you're now Dave is saying like we just wait and he just dies due to one, right? So I guess we'll do that. There's no time limit in this game, honestly. So okay. So we wait. Let's wait for six hours. They run I mean they run out though, don't they? The wiki says you need seven. I'm pretty sure you need seven because the damage runs out eventually. We'll use all of them on them, though. Maybe if I kill him with the explosion, nobody will aggro. Okay. That's three super stim packs used on this guy. So now what? I just wait. Uh, super stim packs. They will, um... They deal damage to people over time. Y you get, like, a big amount of healing, but then you take damage over time. But it, it wears off, which is why I don't think this is going to work. You need seven. Like, the wiki says you need seven because that's enough damage to kill him without alerting anybody. See, he's still alive. Uh, let's try just planning. Uh, ugh, this fucking game... Uh, I think you need to wait. We'll, we'll wait like twice more, but I think you do need to put seven on him. Ashley from Resident Evil 4, I think. Neat! Yeah, no. I think you need seven, so you can find seven around here, but maybe we can do this a different way. Uh, and by a different way, I mean literally just planting plastic explosives on him. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Done. Steal. Steal. Time to die, bitch. Now, as long as the other dudes don't aggro, we're fine. So end our turn. Fuck! 
Oh, this game! God damn it! I just want to beat you! Fuck! This game is just a fucking nightmare, man! Over and over and over! It's just dead end after dead end after dead end! Will you explode, motherfucker? Yeah, so this is... Alright, so we can't do it that way. What else we got? Use seven super stims on him, then wait ten minutes using the function. One can find seven or more super stim packs around the oil rig and containers and on Enclave citizens. By planting an active explosive on, on him, then leaving to another set... Oh! Oh! Planning an explosive on him, then leaving to another section. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's another section? Right up here, right? No, wait. This place is so goddamn big. I'm so done with this fucking game, dude. I've, I'm so. It's just like Dark Souls 2. We're so fucking far into it that it's like. I'm just done. Now we need to get out to another section, which I'm not sure what the fastest way would be. Out this door? Ugh, this place is so goddamn big. <sighs> stairs? What? Oh, these? Is this stairs? Please be stairs. Please be stairs. Please be stairs. Go, 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 go. What is this? Stairs down. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now, we go back up. Oh, this goes back to the barracks, too. <gasps> He's dead! Fuck yes, dude! Oh my god, how did that work? Give me your fucking card, you little bitch. Yes! How did that work? I cannot believe that fucking worked. Oh my god, alright. There we go. So now the Enclave is not... Um, the whole reason we did it that way is so that the Enclave doesn't go crazy. Now what? How do we destroy the fucking... I'm just following a guide from here on out, guys. I'm not going to spoil anything. I don't have to, but like, this is already... I, I, I don't want to be meandering around. I want this game to just be done. Okay, um... Now what do we need to do? We need to blow... I don't know if we got fucking info from this guy. Down the stairs northwest... On the... What? Down the stairs northwest... Northwest of the president's office... Is a nuclear reactor. And then we have two choices. Okay. I mean, northwest is literally here, but it leads to the barracks. Are there more northwest stairs leading down? I... Uh, Alright. Oh, boy. Excuse my profane, maybe. So glad you're playing this so I don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Alright, is this... The, this must be the stairs they're talking about, but I thought it just leads back here. There's a nuclear reactor in here, apparently. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's a computer? That's a fucking weird-looking com- Oh, here we go. Main fr- I don't- What is the nuclear reactor, man? I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Down the stairs, northwest of the president's office, on the bottom-most level of the rig. Are we on the bottom-most level? Who the fuck knows? Reactor level. Yeah, we are. Okay, we are in the right place. Okay. Alright, we're on the reactor level. So we need to blow up some fucking... One, we need to blow up these nerds. Alright, is anybody here can we talk to? I saw that we could talk to somebody, so let's just see. Who's that? A balding man in a lab coat. That sounds like the guy to me. Alright, let's go talk to that guy. How do we get into this fucking room? Over here. Man, if we win this successfully, I will be astounded. And by the way, to all Fallout 2 fans like watching this on YouTube in the future and like, I don't know, anybody here right now. Uh, as always, look, I know it's a great game. It, just trying to play this for the first time in like a, a playthrough format in 2019. It's just too much frustration for what it's worth, man. That's all. 
It's a great game. It really, really is. But it's just too frustrating. I'm sorry. I'm Tom Murray, head of the Atomic Energy Commission. I control our atomic power plant here. Who the hell are you and what are you doing here? Uh, I need to shut down your atomic reactor. Shut it down? Are you crazy? You're not going to shut down my reactor. Yeah, I am. You better tell me how or I'll shut you down permanently. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll do it for you. But if you try to shut it down too fast, it'll overheat. Wow, we got the speech check. I don't care about that. Just shut down the reactor. I'll gut you like a fit. What? Okay, okay, I'll do it. Just take it easy, man. But I'm telling you, it's going to overheat as soon as I put the containment rods down. If we perform a crash shutdown like this, we'll have to scram the whole reactor. Or we better learn to speak Chinese. Uh, what the fuck do I do? God, I... Okay. With high speech and charisma, the Chosen One can instead threaten Tom to shut down. If the FEB has been released, this option is not available. After this, as the console messages say, there are 10 minutes left of the game to get out? All right. I don't give a shit what type of ending we get. I don't care if everybody in this fucking wasteland dies. I just want to end the game. I just want to get to the ending. I don't even care what fucking ending. So you know what? Because we get shit like this, which is so fun. Yeah, whatever. Just shut the damn thing down right now. We did it. You got it. Okay. Uh, slide this to the green. He fiddles with the control panel for a few minutes while he mutters to himself. Okay, you got it, but be sure. But it sure isn't going to stay stable for very long. You did the right thing. Now, I've got to be going. You better just keep quiet here for a while. Oh, God. All right. We got a whole bunch of experience. Ten minutes left to evacuate. What, what about the... What about the fucking... The FEV shit? We're at the end here. We are at the end. What, but what about the FEB? Oh, man. I think we fucked up. But I don't care. I don't give a flying fuck. Okay. Alright. So we got ten minutes to leave. Oh, and it's like real time too. Shit. Uh, so yeah, I, I did see that you wanted to go back to where the president was. Because now apparently there's a new place. And where is that place at? Was it that thing locked behind the... It's this right here. Yeah, this was locked. Now it's open. All right, we need to get over there. Dude, if this fucking works. I don't know if we should have, like, actually saved our people. I don't... I have no clue, man. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. 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 Now, it said we could talk to somebody, but who? It's all the same people from before. Yeah, I thought it said there was going to be a new person here. Let's see. Let's just make sure we're doing this correctly. Back on the presidential level, there's now an emergency stairwell. Yep. Yep, back in the corridor leading to the entrance. Oh, back in the corridor leading to the entrance. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure we didn't miss that guy. So it sounds like we just need to go back to where we were. Uh, well, good luck, everybody. I guess I killed my, my villagers. I don't know. I don't care. I stopped the enclave. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Let's get the fuck out of here. We need to go over this way, back to the entrance hall. We got nine minutes left. Complete reactor meltdown in nine minutes. All right, yeah, we're going to make a save. Don't worry. Save now. Uh, where do I save? San Francisco, Hubologist base. Inside. Um, save over this one. Fuck it. The super duper real save. Okay. Where? Oh, oh, yeah, these guys. Can we talk to them? Here we go. Halt, what are you doing here? Just who are you? Sergeant Granite? Okay, this guy will help us. This guy will help us. This is the guy I was looking out for. But I don't know how we get him to help us. I just know this guy will help us. EC Company. 
Enclave Control Company. We're responsible for perimeter defense. Usually that is. Oh, I see. What do you mean usually? Well, you know that freak agent Horrigan just stormed past here. He's, war he's waiting for someone to try and make a break for it. Who's that? He's some genetically engineered freak is what he is. Used to be the president's bodyguard, Secret Service agent Frank Horrigan. Now he's more than half machine. Sounds like bad news. Oh, that he is, and worse, he's going to mop the floor with you. He's tough, fast, and just plain mean. I've seen what he likes to do to mutants, and it ain't pretty. I'm not a mutant. What did he do? I don't like to talk about it. It gives me nightmares. Let's just say that those walls aren't covered with rust exactly. Sounds like I'm going to have a hard time getting past him. That's the understatement of the year. This is the final boss, by the way. That's the understatement of the year. I pity you, pal. Really? No, I know to use the computer. Okay, this might be the end, everybody. This might be the fucking end. I am so excited for this game to be over. Right, cats? The cats are past TF out. Okay. That's the understatement of the year. I pity you, pal. I really do. I think we do this to convince them to join us. Pity me. You should feel bad for yourself. Your power plant's control computer got fried, and now you're headed for a meltdown. You're all dead men unless... Oh, yeah. Tell me another one. If the reactor's scragged, how come the lights are still on? Huh, Smarty? Haha. <laughs> tell me another one. That's just the emergency lighting. Hey, I saw where your computer was. If it's not broken, it's gone. I'm telling you, you're all going down for the count unless... Don't you tell a pretty story. You make me laugh. You know, I think you might even last over the one-minute mark with Horrigan. That'd be a new record. Good luck, Mutie. Huh. So I guess we didn't get the speech check. Can we even get this guy? Let me see. Okay, he tells the Chosen One that blah, 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 yep, 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 yep. With a successful speech check, the hero can convince them that the base will be ground zero. Yeah, so we can convince them, so we'll just keep reloading. I have really good speech. I have really good speech, so I think we can get him on our side. What's up, everybody? What's up? We're just trying to beat this horrible fucking game. What? Oh, here we go. That's new. Okay, unless what? Unless you help me get past Hor Horrigan to get to my ship. Okay, okay, I can't talk for everyone, but my squad and I will do our best to help you out with that freak Horrigan away for good. I don't want to drown like no rat. Good thinking. Let's go get him. We got to get out of here. It's happening! We're doing it! All right, now we got to use the computer. That was the whole point of getting the um, key. You've a lot farther than you should have. What? But then you haven't met Frank Horrigan either. Your ride's over, Muty. Time to die. Oh, we have to use the computer before this, don't we? Whoops. I'm going past you no matter whether you like it or not. Okay, we have to do the computer before we come in here. Oh, man, look at this fucking guy. Alright, this is the final boss. Oh, he only hits for 11? Do I have to run over to this, or does he just... Wait, can we use a previous computer, y'all? Does anybody know? We need to use a computer and then turn on the um, thing. And there were other computers, but I don't know where they are. Uh, was there a computer in here? Uh... Fuck. I We saw another computer, but I don't remember where it was at. No, that's the... Oh, you have to use that one. Shit. Okay. Uh, let me just double check to make sure. We, we were able to do another computer, though. Um, okay, do the powerful... Do the powerful and numerous turrets. A fight is nigh impossible to survive without the presidential keycard. By using the terminal in the room, science 100... Oh, my God! Science... It's saying like he's not supposed to... Talking to Hurrigan leads him to attacking... The terminal can't be used in com... Well, then why did it not give me a chance to use the terminal? Okay. So maybe we don't talk to Granite then. Maybe we just go past him. We need to get to that computer right over there. But he's right fucking here. He's gonna talk to me. <gasps> oh, we can get to it! Fuck yes, dude! Oh my god. Is this going to fucking work? Log on. Try users. Presidential pass key. Counterinsurgency. 
Descent defensive systems to be turned on previously low, but not threatening the units within an area. Defensive systems are programmed to attack most dangerous foe first. I.E. This freaking guy. Okay, that sounds useful. Activate counterinsurgency protocol. Presidential security pass key recognized. Good day, Mr. President. Emergency counterinsurgency pro protocol initiated. Target acquired. I think I'll stand back and see what happens. Fre Holy shit. What? Turret was <laughs> Frank Horgan was hit for 33 hit points. Turret was critically hit for 104, hitting some... P Oh, man, I guess we should get Granite on our side, shouldn't we? Uh, end turn. Yeah, look, the things... The things hit him now. Oh, my God, yes. Die, bitch, die. Die, bitch, die. Die, bitch, die. Die, 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 die. He kills the turrets in one hit, though. I guess I should try shooting him, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, these guys are... Oh, these guys are enemies now? Oh, fuck that. Okay, okay. Here we go, everybody. I don't know how many people are paying attention to this or even care or anything like that. It's more for YouTube. But anyways, we're going to talk to Granite over here. We're going to try to convince him. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Pity me. And then he... Okay, he didn't get convinced. So, bye-bye. So, reload. Okay, talk to this bitch again. Trying to get past. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Pity me. Ah! No, 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 don't enter combat. It takes longer. I wish I just knew what the percentages was. Notice in Fallout New Vegas and in Fallout 3, they changed it to tell you what your, your percentage of, you know, doing a speech check was. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, now he's going to help me. Sweet. So now... Stop, stop, stop. He, Frank cannot talk to me. Don't talk to me. I guess we got too close to him last time. Yes. Yes. Here we fucking go, dude. All right, here we go. Now we hit the terminal. Now we log on. Now we log in as the president of the United States. Now we do this. Now we do that. Okay, now all the turrets and this squad are going to fight this fucking boss for us, which means we literally don't even need to fight him with our level 17 bitch ass. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot him with my Gauss rifle. I don't give a fuck. We're just gonna help the DPS, I guess. Oh, wow, we hit him for 31. Not bad. We hit him as much as a turret did. Yeah, the Gauss rifle seems to be pretty good. People were right, okay? Time to die. Time to die. Time to die. Bitch ass bitch. Time to die. Oh, man, we got the time limit, though. Time to die! Come on! Come on, man! Frank Horgan's getting hit by so much shit. Oh god, he killed that guy in one hit. Oh! He deals so much fucking damage. Nice shot! There you go. I don't know how much HP he's got. But we're on a time limit here. Look how much HP this dude's got. 137 hit points. 52, 29. This is ridiculous. 22. 22. End turn. Oh! He's slaughtering these people. Sergeant Granite was killed. Hit for 8. Hit for 6. Hit for 7. Hit for 7. Hit for 3. Hit for 25, hit for... Oh, no. Uh, hit for 15. Turret hit for 25. Hit for 20. Turret was hit for 12. Frank his hit for 14 and 22. Come on. Can I, can I look at him? Almost dead! He looks almost dead. It's time, everybody. It's time to end this fucking game and never play it ever again as long as I live. Just like Dark Souls 2. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I beat this fucking game on normal difficulty, by the way. On normal fu- Well, okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're, st we're still on a time limit. Compacting his chest plate. <gasps> 
Yes! Bye, bitch! Ha! That's a sick-ass animation. Oh, my God. Oh, is he still alive? No fucking way. What is he doing? Frank Horgan with... And he was killed! End combat! Yeah! Uh, now what? I just leave or what? Do I go to my fucking people? I don't even know! Uh, all these doors are locked. Shit. You... You haven't won here. You and your mutie bastard friends are gonna join me in a big old mushroom cloud send-off. I just triggered the self-destruct. <laughs> Except seal your own death warrants. Duty. <coughs> Honor. Courage. Semper Fi. Okay. Thanks. I mean, it was already gonna blow up, though, so, like... <laughs> you know? Where's my fucking... Oh, there he goes. That was one of the coolest death animations ever. Huh. Uh, alright. I need to make... What do I do now? I don't even fucking know what I'm supposed to do. We killed the final boss. Now what? Uh, let's save the game over here on the main save. The fuck do I run out? Okay, that's locked though now. The way we came in is over there. I'll try the door. I don't know where to go. Let's just try this. Very surprised that worked. Do we do we fucking beat this? Yes! Fuck you, Enclave! And fuck you, Fallout 2. You're a very good game. You are a very good game. But God, are you a pain in the ass for a Let's Play. Oh my God, thank the Lord. It's over, Yen. It's over. It's over, Greyjoy. We did it. We did it. It's over, guys. Come here. Here, I'll trick you. Come here. Come here. Add the kindness of your hearts. Come here. Yeah, there you go. You just love me so much, don't you? It's over. <laughs> we did it. We did it, my sweet boy. We beat this fucking game. It's over. It's over. After the Enclave's destruction, the refugees of Arroyo and Vault 13 resettled, building a new community with the aid of the Garden of Eden creation kit. Oh, we got the good the ending, too. Hundreds of miles from their vault. The members of Vault 13 chose to join the villagers in establishing a new community and their technical expertise, combined with the villagers' survival skills, allowed the new settlement to grow and prosper. Two generations of the same bloodline were reunited, and their savior, the Chosen One, became Elder, presiding over the village in the years to come. Relations between the Slags and the residents of Modoc flourished. Between the two peoples, Modoc prospered and became a major farming community Supplying all the outlying regions with food. Oh yeah, we did that. Mr. Turn it up. I'm gonna be quiet. The den expanded greatly, giving him influence and power throughout most of the area. Breeding pens were started, and eventually, no one was safe from the threat of being enslaved. Kind of messed that Travelers up. Travelers avoided the den, hearing of the evils committed within its walls. In the years to come, Vault City suffered greatly from raider attacks. Eventually. The situation grew so desperate, the citizens were forced to request aid from NCR. Within a month, a large detachment of the NCR's military was stationed in Vault City. The military presence quickly became an occupation force, and Vault City became the first of NCR's border territories. The Mordino family grew greatly in power as Jet's influence spread across Northern California. Within a year, they had seized control of New Reno, and expanded their empire, absorbing the den and other surrounding areas. There was little violence in the conquest, 
as Jet has weakened all resistance to Mordino rule. Though the Wright family never completely recovered from Richard's death, the knowledge that their killer had been brought to justice eased their troubled sleep. Optimizing Gecko's reactor created a power surplus in Gecko. The Vault City Council, unable to expand because of their limited power supply, yielded to internal pressure and was forced to take over Gecko to control the reactor. The peaceful ghouls of Gecko became slaves and spent the rest of their lives serving Vault City. Oh, I thought I did that well. The gold-producing town of Reading soon found itself in the unenviable position of a scrap of meat being torn by three jealous vultures. Sooner than many would have expected, there was nothing left of the scrap that was once Reading. For Vault City, New Reno, and the New California <laughs> Republic had laid waste to what was once an area of plenty. Kind of fucked over most nothing of the wasteland. Exists, but the desiccated husk of what was once Reading. But hey, we beat it. Yay. With the destruction of the conspiracy to destroy the mutants, Broken Hills began to thrive. Hey, that's good. Then, the uranium ran out. Okay. <laughs> the city, having lost its sole reason for existing, slowly dispersed. All right. The residents carried their riches with them, leaving the place a windswept, desolate ghost town. Cool. A few holdouts remained, attempting to eke out a pathetic existence. But eventually, they too disappeared. The failure of diplomacy at Vault 15 slowed the New California Republic's growth into the north. Embarrassed by the failure, President Tandy was replaced by Roger Weston. When the new government finally returned to Vault 15, they found nothing but a ghost town. Everything's just a fucking ghost town. The squatters of Vault 15 continued their meaningless, non-productive lives. No one noticed when the desert wastes finally claimed the squat. <laughs> God, everybody died in this fucking By ending. Reading the death claws of Vault 13, you banished yet another species of the realms of extinction, proving once again <laughs> that genocide is a viable solution. Dude, to I thought any I did problem. good things in this playthrough. The she flourished, creating a botanical scourge on the radiation surrounding their beloved town. Okay. Though this vine could not grow in other soils. The she took care to nourish it in their lands. They continued to grow in strength and prominence, forming the basis of a new empire. As for the tanker vagrants, well, as vagrants do, they drifted on. Uh, copyright, so nope. Uh, that's gonna be a resounding motherfucking no- What, well, just in case it messes up my save? Yeah, sure. I guess you can continue this, huh? Oh my god, we fucking did it, everybody. We beat Fallout 2. Legitimately, might I add, now yes, we did look up a lot of shit, but dude, let me tell you what, if you were a YouTuber that was playing this for the first time in 2019, you would look shit up too. I'm just telling you. And if you don't, then great. You're, you're better than I am. Uh, I'm sorry. There was no way we were doing this, getting a capper on it, without looking certain shit up. There was just no fucking way. Um, and I only looked up what I needed to to get a little nudge in the right direction. I didn't look up anything like that would just explain everything. So, uh, we're going to make the final save here on the actual main save and we're going to call it the main save. Boom. And I'm done. Bye bye. Now a little review of this game before I catch up with the chat and end the stream. Uh, as I said, Fallout 2 is an amazing game. You can see the work they put into it. Fallout 1 was much smaller and, uh... Because of that, it was much easier to play going back to this old game. But Fallout 2 was so much bigger, so much more ambitious, so many more new places and new people and all sorts of new mechanics and items. It was very hard to do a Let's Play series of, which is why I got super frustrated and ended up just stopping it. Um, it's, it's not good for a Let's Play setting. It's just not. It's one of the worst, if not literally the worst, Let's Play type games I've ever played. That all being said, this game is amazing. You can easily tell the amount of work and time and humor and writing they put into this. Same thing with Fallout 1. So I really highly suggest it to anybody that wants to play in your own spare time. I would play this again, but off camera. I am never playing this on camera ever again. There's no fucking way. It's just, it's a nightmare. There's so many dead ends, so many like glitches, so many bad things that can happen. And the game is just hard. It's hard, even on normal difficulty. Now I beat this thing start to finish 
on normal. I never changed the difficulty unless I did it in, in, in a Let's Play video and forgot, but I don't think I did. So I never, all of it was beaten on normal, and the only caveat to this was that I did look up certain things to nudge me in the right direction, which, you know, take that for what you will. Uh, I think this game's really, 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 really good. It is just, it can just be super duper frustrating. So to people watching on YouTube and the people watching on Twitch, thank you so much for watching the Let's Play series on YouTube if you watched it, and thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you didn't know, this is the capper to a, a total Let's Play uh, that is up on YouTube if you just, you know, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube uh, if you just look up Grovana Fallout 2, there's a whole Let's Play for it. So I wanted to finish it because I really don't like just stopping games. So I really, really wanted to finish it. And there we are. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Bye-bye.